All right, guys, I got everybody muted uh, right now. Uh, I'm just going to do a few things. I'm uh, broadcasting this live on YouTube. I have to, I just came back over here because the cats were clawing on the phone. So I have to uh, live stream this. It's just going to take me a few minutes. Public, go live. And based on what happened last week, you know, I'm, uh, I, I'm doing this waiting room thing. Look at that, it picked a different. This happened again. I can't see get this because it, it picks a different um, watch page. I'm going to try this again. I gotta try this again. Stop live stream and I gotta restart the live stream. This meeting is being live streamed. Okay. Let's just try this. I wanna do this right. I, I, I want it, I, I want it, I don't want it to be another another page URL. Maybe that's it. It's the 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 uh, this, the title. It's got to be the exact title that I set up. Let's see if it works now. Hopefully it works. No, let's see if it works now. No, it's still a different URL. Okay, so that's fine. That's what it's going to have to be. I can't see that there, so I'm gonna have to move this down. No, I'm just gonna leave it here and I'm gonna just periodically look at it. I'm gonna get yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy the URL, go here. Go to microphones unmuted. My video is good. My recording in progress locally. The live stream on the YouTube. I'm going to uh, go to this URL. There has been a mix up. I'm gonna have to call Zoom and find out why that's happening because it picks a different URL. I can't even use the live streaming software. Oh, look, okay. Okay, all right, I think I got it. That's what I gotta do. I just gotta copy the URL, copy and then put it in the stream. URL. Let me see. F five. I really want to clear this up. It's going to take just a few more minutes. Unbound. Sorry. Hey, hey, Lisa. Hey, Malik. Uh, I'm admitting unbound sovereign. I'm, I'm maintaining everybody muted just for a little while. Let me straighten out a couple of things and I'll be right on back.
Ok Alright, so that's uh, okay. All right, so I'm gonna keep that right here. So this is it, right? Okay. How did that, how did that happen? And four P seven F and four P seven. Okay. So that's it. Okay, that's good. I'm done with that. All right, so good evening. Welcome, thanks everyone for coming. Lisa Malik and Unbound Sovereign. Uh, because the weather's been nice, I'm sure that there's not a lot of people gonna be coming in tonight, but I have a couple things I would love to go through. Um, and I, I kind of lined up and then I'm going to open up the because I, I did this waiting room. I mean, I could unmute everybody and just say hello if anybody wants to. And also there's a function where you could raise your hand. So if, if any if anyone's uh, if everyone's OK with that, let me just get through what I want to get through. And then it'll take me maybe 15, 20 minutes and then uh, I could open. But you could always raise your hand and I'm always looking over there and I'm looking at the chat. Uh, over here. I do want to actually enter some stuff on the chat. So let me do that now. Let me take a sip of kombucha. All right, no hands raised. I hope everybody can see. Can everybody uh, hear me? Okay, good, perfect, thanks, Unbound Sovereign. All right, now, uh, so what I wanna do first is open up a document here just so I can add some stuff in the chat. Down here. Uh, no. Okay. Musa. Musa, I got it. How you doing? How good evening. Thanks for joining us. I got uh, I got everybody on mute for a little while. I was mentioning that um, I'm gonna do a quick presentation, like 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes maybe, and then and then I'm gonna unmute everybody. But you could always raise your hand if and then I'll I put in the chat here just in case somebody got invited through just an invitation and uh, you know has don't know that I, there's a YouTube channel. Uh, that's the link to the YouTube channel. Uh, okay, um, hey Musa, uh, good evening, welcome. Thanks for coming. I'm just gonna. I have everybody muted for uh, a little bit, and let me just. I'm just admitting people into the room one by one so we could prevent what happened last week. Uh, so people basically stay in. All right, so everybody is in. Uh, hey, Bryce, how you doing, Bryce? Um, I mentioned to everyone else, I have everybody muted for a little while. Everybody's coming into the room. I have a little bit of a presentation and I'm gonna unmute everybody. But in, if, uh, so look, it looks like everybody is in on a computer. I'm not sure about, um, about Bryce. Hey, Bryce. Uh, oh, he must be in on his phone. 
Okay, but you do have access to chat. So what did I? Uh, I basically just in case somebody got our invitation through email, uh, I'm including a link to our YouTube channel here in the chat. So you know if you if you're interested, you could subscribe, um, like, and share. Uh, so that's the YouTube channel. This Google group here, uh, I, I, it was just generic here, but you could join it because then I'll, I'll know I'll have your information. There's about 13 uh, members, participants in this Google group here that I uh, linked in the chat. And then uh, this is my email, you know, email me for inquiries, consultations, uh, you know, join the group, join a private group, access to docs, access to my personal master docs, if you're interested. My phone number is there, mobile call or text anytime, you know, for consultations or brief questions. Uh, uh, lately, I've been liking to, if somebody wants to talk to me and it's a public call, I'll do a Zoom. If I have the time, I'll do a Zoom. If it's not too late, we'll do a Zoom. You can call right in, just like you're calling me on my cell phone. And then this way, it'll be public knowledge. Because if, if, if something assisted you, it may assist others as well. So, you know, I'm here for, you know, I'm here for, for, the, for the collective. You know, I'm not here for personal gain because I could be a, probably a billionaire if I wanted to right now, which I'm going to be. But I'm saying I could be a billionaire doing my old Babylon work, you know, my old Babylon career. But I'm here to uplift, you know, humanity and to pursue uh, and engage my destiny. Um, this is a big, this is big. This is big what we're doing. It's not small. It's. It's big. So, uh, and then, you know, my cash app, done. My cash app's there. You know, I got about 30 bucks in my pocket right now to my name. And I laid on my last month's mortgage. Now I owe this, but I'm still doing this, you know, putting out information and, you know, uh, uh, doing this group here. If anybody finds it in their heart, I'm not a beggar. You know, when uh, in the past, I've, uh, there's been, uh, guys that have been putting out good, good content, I would send them thousands, not 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 hundreds or tens, thousands. I sent people thousands of dollars in donations. Uh, just saying, but uh, that's that. Now that's done. Anybody can type any kind of question in the chat so we can have them prepared. Uh, so you can hear me, okay? And all right, good. Let me go to the next item of business. I'm going to share screen here. And let me see this here, cancel that for a second. Everybody's in, everybody's mic. So let me see if I raise my hand. I wanna just see if I raise my hand. So I just raised my hand because I'm on my mobile. Okay, you see, I don't know if you guys could see the participant list on the waiting room, but I, I have a hand up now. So if you go into the more tab on your, on your Zoom, uh, there's a, a thing where you could, uh, so I'm gonna just go through this quick. Okay, now, share screen. Share screen number two, optimize for video, share sound, good. Let me see, I, uh, I am recording and let me just check here. Oh, okay, oh, you came on the, uh, you came on the YouTube too, um, Bryce. All right, that's cool because you're on the Zoom and the YouTube at the same time, <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, so now, uh, good. And we got Paul Costa. So Paul Costa, okay, let me just throw a link quick in the YouTube for the meeting. I have that over here. Quick. And the pollen, because we could go, you know, uh, I mean, I had some really great energy this morning. So I have a lot of stuff lined up, uh, but you know, cause I'm, I'm recovering copy. Let me just do this here. Okay. Uh, I'm recovering from, they bombarded us with chemtrails the other day. Minimize this. 
um and so I, I I'm I'm bombarded like we got bombarded here in New York with with chemtrails and I got I got sick so I went through this whole detox process I even I was even detoxing today so okay um so I'm not like a hundred hundred percent where's my tissue <laughs> I'm going to share screen now, and we're going to go over a couple of things. Come on, come on. Okay, got it. Now, so I'm going to go over a few things here. What's this? Okay, let me slide this over. I'm not going to go over this, but this is what I'm doing to, to, to detox, but I'm not getting into this because uh, we we're we wasting time. Um, if anyone is interested in joining like a group, just in case you haven't gotten this invitation, I'm showing this here. Uh, I'm introducing myself. If you're interested, my, I already entered my email. Let me see. Yep, my email is in the chat. So everybody has it in the chat. Let me, let me just uh, include that in uh, on YouTube as well. They already have it, but okay, that's that. Um, so you know, I've, I've uh, just in case anybody wants to, just because I'm trying to prevent, I'm trying to prevent what happened last week. So basically, I'm making an introduction of myself right here on this on this document here. And it says here, basically, you know, lawful name. My lawful name is Jetan Lita. My all caps. And actually, that's my legal name. But I say lawful, you know, lawful. But that's actually my legal name. My This is would be my lawful name here. I'll change that. I'm not going to change that right now. And this is my international private name, basically, you know, and it could be all, all lowercase. Uh, what do you want me to be? What do you want to be called? You can call me JP. That's for my first and my father's name, which is, you know, Payazid P, JP. Or you can call me Tony. They've been calling me Tony forever in my life. It's, you know, since I was a kid. Yeah, Tony, Tony, yeah, Tony, yeah, Tony. So it just stuck. And plus, I was in Brooklyn, so Tony is popular there. Where I was born, Brooklyn, Kings County, New York, where I live, Long Island, Suffolk County, New York. I'm 49, my phone number, my email, my skills and interests. I've owned a roofing company, roofing construction company for 40 years. I'm a South Sedan. You know, basically, I started with my father. That's why 40 years, I'm only 49. So I started at 12. I'll change it to 30 to 38, you know, uh, or 37. But, you know, uh, it was, I, I was working. I was working at nine, 10 years old. My, I was working with my father roofing. We're not like, oh, wait till they're 18 or anything or 15 or anything. My father was like, rent this due, get up, let's get to work. So, you know, um, I look back at those years, it was a little difficult, but then, you know, you grow into it and you like it. So now, uh, so I cannot see the participants with, okay, I can when I'm when I'm sharing, I can now. Uh, and then, you know, I'm a salsa dancer for 35 years. I play 13 instruments. I'm into nation building, tribal land restoration revi and, re and revitalization, revitalization, humanitarianist, humanitarian, uh, philanthropist, jogger runner, holistic healer, Reiki master. I'm a pastor with the Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing in Columbia, Jim Hundle. This church is under attack. You cannot find their website. The government, this is basically the people that do chlorine therapy, chlorine therapy. It's really called calcium hypochlorite right here. MMS, I'm sure you guys have heard of Jim Humble. He basically went through Africa curing malaria, all kinds of diseases by just adding one. This is super powerful. I gargle my throat with it. Uh, with a, 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 Right now what I'm using is MMS. Two, it's like the second version, which is calcium hypochlorite. I gargle with it. Before I started doing this in 2013, I would get an ear infection bad for uh, twice a year. When the seasons would change in the spring and when the seasons would change, you know, when it's allergy season in the spring and then in the fall, because, you know, there's two allergy seasons, one in the spring, one in the fall, sometimes even in the summer. So I gargle with it. 
I threw a couple of drops and snort them right up my nose. It goes right into my brain, kills all germs, and it keeps my ears. And I, my, I even put drops. It's it, I, I put drops like Visine in my eyes, keeps my eyes white, no problem, no itching. And I put a, a little bit in my ears, either with a Q-tip or so, kills everything. If uh, this is very dangerous, see, dangerous, very dangerous to use only with supervision. That's it. I'm not going to talk further. These are also very dangerous to use if you take them internally. Bentonite clay. This is what I use. Bentonite clay, psyllium husk first. And then I've, uh, uh, if you've never done a colon cleanse, you have intestinal plaque. You cannot do this. If you have intestinal plaque, you're going to get serious uh, blockage in your, in your intestinal tract. This, you have to research this. This is very important. I have eight pack abs, I'm almost 50, and I would have never done this if I haven't started with this colon cleanse in 2013. I was uh, privy to this information. And then after I do that, I do high dose vitamin C. Today, I only did 4,000 milligrams, but I did 10,000 first day, 10,000, and that cured me. It, you know, basically I got better. Then to bind all the toxins of the chemtrails, and uh, this also does that, but the activated charcoal, diatomaceous earth, and clinoptilolite. I'm not spelling this right, but I'm not changing it. Zeolite and then the MMS, that's it. Now, so health of healing, Jim Humble, chief. Oh, and then I'm also a chief, a temporary chief of a, of a native nation called the Mastic Native Nation. I, I'm, I'm, it's where I live. I'm, cr I'm creating it from scratch. I'm going to do foreign granters trust, but first I'm going to do a you know, uh, a, a, a common law, not even common law, a natural law documentation on cowhide, declaring it, you know, declaring it into existence, into the universe. So I'm going to be the temporary chief because I'm not interested in being a chief, but, you know, and but it's, everything's going to be a proper voting system with the proper voting system. You know, if they want me to make, uh, be, continue to be chief, I will. Uh, if not, you know, then uh, they'll be paid because I'm going to fund this. I'm going to fund these nations from here. All, and then I have other projects, but right now, this is my, these are my uh, skills and interests, my little bio. So if you want, my email is in the chat. My email is on the YouTube. You can email me and give me this information. You'll be, I've met a couple people have already done it because they're serious about this, serious about success. They want to get this stuff done so they can take care of themselves. Uh, and so now I'm going to get into the, now I'm going to get into the presentation. Lawful name, all this, just what I just described up above. Now, now. I led this to this right here. I uh, basically, this little folder here is Sunday's, um, see, uh, Sunday, I, I'm gonna change this to M, because Sunday meeting, rename, because I don't have so much room here, so I started just abbreviating, SM, the Sunday meeting, save. And basically, I have, I bookmark a bunch of stuff. So, um, God, that's what I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, all right, so now let me start here. Okay, so this was the first one. Uh, you, I mean, I mean, look, I'm thinking out loud, so don't you hang me, don't kill me. Um, I'm just thinking out loud. At one point, it's possible that you could you could even serve these people. There could be some kind of a of a UPU Universal Postal Union where you could because when I was at the uh, post office and I got my uh, documents registered, I got my legal notice in the bank registered. She didn't even take it to my post office box. She delivered it to me in my hands. And she told me that it's delivered. And she had one witness, which was her uh, co-worker, uh, was, was, was a witness that it was, it was delivered. So I'm just thinking out loud. You could deliver this stuff yourself if some, there was some kind of a, you know, maybe an affiliation. And, and uh, many could say, oh, what are you talking about? You're going to get a, you know, you're going to be a job. You're going to work for the post office and stuff. You can, when you're in Babylon, you have to deal with Babylon people and you have to basically it to, it be in control of your environment. You got to put different hats on. They're going to be stacked up like pancakes, your hats, your shoes. You're going to be uh, uh, the legal sh uh, straw man, you know, you know, authorized rep for him. And then the uh, upper lower, the last name first, first name last, you're going to own all, then you're going to have your trust and you're going to have your um, above that. Then you're going to have a nation that you probably, that you're going to either found, uh, that's what me is, uh, you know, uh, and then you could, other people call them foundations. No, I want, I'm, I'm, I'm a nation builder. I'm a nation builder. I want to build nations so and I can have peace, not even peace treaties. I call them harmony pacts, no peace. I'm whole. I'm not a wholeness treaty, not even that the words are charged. 
they 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 uh they charge these words and they do rituals with these words. That's why I'm gonna get to what Bryce says later. Bryce sent me something and uh I don't even know where I have. I have it in my email. I'm not gonna go through it right this second, but it was a I'm not gonna go through it right this second, but maybe later I will. Uh anything from the Congress, the first part of the word Congress is con. They're they're conning you. I'm not signing nothing with no Congress. No, you know, no peace, nothing, no uh, uh, indigenous peace accord with the U US Congress, no way. I'll do my own with my own font, with my own, you know, hieroglyphs. That's what, that's where I have it up here, right here. Uh, let me just stop here for a sec, right here. That's why people sign, that's why people sign, they, they, we start in a chain. This is my, this is gonna be my new, my top level signature right there, the yin and yang. Basically, baby, baby, balance. It's hieroglyph. It's, we have to have our own font. It could resemble the American language, uh, but it's gonna be. But it's gonna be. Um, I'm I'm making one out of human beings. You have your own font, and then you have pictographs. I have it over here. Give me one moment. Pictographs. That's why prints. Let me share screen. Look, look, Prince. This is his signature. This is he who he is. He changed his name to a symbol. That guy was lit, and that guy is not dead. That guy, that guy got out of the matrix. I, I I'm not 100% sure, but I have a very good feeling. That boy is bad. I love that guy to death, Prince. Look, it's an anx with a guitar in the middle of it, you know? So, so uh, he's on the path, you know, like, you know he, he, he solved the problem. So now, you know, when we make a pact or, or a, you know, no peace treaties, no, a, a, a harmony, non-war bond is what they are. A harmony or a non-war bond is what we do. And we don't do it in writing. We do it in writing, yes, but above the writing is gonna be a pictograph a pictograph of a non-war, non-war showing you two tribes, pictures of the two tribes, not at war, showing us smiling in peace, holding two hands like this, holding, you know, shaking hands with two hands, smiling, and then we're at unity. I could take that to the Amazon. I could take that to the Amazon and, and they would understand it. I'm here to make a non-war pact with you. And they're, they got their spears at you and stuff, you know? And then you're like, I'm here, non-war, here, look. They, they, they weigh your soul right there. That's, they weigh your soul and they know that, that you're, 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 you're true in your, in your words that they can't even understand. And then, you know, this is where they, you know, you could do, a, you know, handprints, thumbprints, whatever, blood, a blood ritual. You, you both of you, you become, when you do a harmony pact, you become pretty much blood brothers. You're like, you know, you would uh, defend each other if, if, if war ever came. This is all the stuff I'm thinking. So I was skipping ahead, but let me see how I got onto that. Let me see here. Well, I'm gonna get into this right here. You see right here, I built, I'm gonna build these right now and I'm gonna propose it to you guys. Let me just see how I should, how I should go about this and what sequence. So let's see here. Um, so I'm, I'm on that. I mean, Genesis two chairs, class action lawsuit. Uh, this will be skipping around, but okay. I'm gonna start from the bottom here because I got these here and I'm gonna go through these quickly and I don't see any hands up. So I'm not sure if you guys, are, uh, you know, know, I'll get through this presentation and then anybody can raise their hand if they have something urgent. Otherwise uh, I'm gonna just continue. I got everybody in here. All right, now, so um, let me share screen. Oh, you see, I'm glad I'm looking at my thing. Okay. Now I'm going to share screen again. Okay. I'm going to start at the bottom of this little chart I have, but the, the, the whole thing I was just telling you about the pictographs, important because you are, this is why when you get your 98 number, this is why when you get your 98 number for, for your foundation or your trust, they ask you, what's the date that the, the trust was created? Because they, they know 
that you created it on your own. So you have to have a date. If, if you're creating a nation and that nation was here since the 1940s, you get witnesses, you put that date down. You, not 1940s, the 1400s. You, you know, that's when it was created. You're just making documentation so you could, you, so you could play in Babylon world. So it was, when was, when was the, the date of the creation? Uh, it was 1497. 1497, and you get five witnesses, you know, five and five, you get 10 witnesses. And if you can get 10 witnesses from in one family for that they have, um, uh, you know, a great grandfather, grandfather, father, son, grandson. If you can get that, even if the kid can't write, you make them sign. You make them sign with the, like in crayons, whatever. And then, and then that makes, that's powerful. And then if you do a ritual or a, or a uh, ceremony on, on that, you know, make a party. You, 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 you know, make a party. You're celebrating that document. Make a party, call everybody, come on down. Everybody sing and dance and whatever, drink and smoke and, you know, have a good time. And that's the date because weddings and these ceremonies are things that people remember for a long time. They, they act as documents. That's why the weddings are so big in my country because they're like, oh yes, of course I was at your wedding. And then you know that it's, 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 your, it's, it's uh, known to the universe that, that this daughter from this clan was given to this husband, this man, next. So I'm gonna start from the bottom here and these are all just things I'm, I'm gonna either have to get my air conditioning on or change my shirt. Uh, uh, let me keep going right here. Let me just put my AC on a little bit because I'm getting hyped, hyped up. Okay, now, uh, just in case, all right, I'm gonna start from the bottom here, from the end. All right, so just, I mean, I'm thinking out loud. Basically, the ultimate goal is we're gonna be doing, um, uh, United States U.S. Silver Certificates, Silver Certificate, which resembles the dollar bill. So this is uh, images of a United States Silver Certificate. If I can find one that's not, that's from the United States Treasury, I think this is it right here, no. Ah, well, I'm gonna have to start somewhere. Silver certificate. This certifies that you have a deposit in the treasury of the United States of America, United States treasury, right? This is a silver certificate. This is not a dollar bill. One dollar in silver payable to the bearer on demand. You could basically create this. And how you create this is you, um, or you're going to be the, cr the, the creator of this. How you do that is by getting, doing a, sil a silver, um, a silver, a uh, what is it called? A silver bond. Um, I don't know why it's, it's a, uh, I can't believe it. It's escaping me right now, but it's it's on the lines of uh, you're gonna basically be making a United States silver certificate, uh, and and what it's gonna be is it's gonna be backed by silver. So you come over here to this place here, Silver Town. I can start throwing in. I'll throw it in the chat. Why not? I mean, if we're gonna do this, I don't mind. Like if 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 this gets good, you know, we'll I'll continue. I'll I'll do this here. Send. Send, okay, and then you have the archive. So you're, not, you're gonna basically get in this and look, watch this, okay, cookies. You engrave them with your information. You basically make a nine digit number. Look, customize wire price. Look, no, uh, please do not engrave on front. Yes, I wanna engrave on front at $5. Yes, I wanna, you're gonna get like 22 of these um or, or 21 i can't remember what it is and then you're gonna you're gonna make a uh a declaration of silver certificate I, i'm not gonna look for that right now but uh affidavit affidavit No, 
not, it's not coming up. It's in my documents. I, I probably have it right in my document. I know I have it in my files, in my in my files, but I right, forget. Let me do it. Let me be thorough. Let me check the, uh, if there's no hands, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna be as fast as I can, a uh, chat participants. All right, nobody's got their hands up. I'm gonna continue because I'm gonna do a quick search here on my, on my thing. Uh, silver, bonds, silver bonds, silver surety bond, that's what it is. All right, while that's working, it's populating over there uh, and then it'll pop right up. So that's it. So um, basically you get these, then you do a, a silver surety bond. Let's see, silver bond. Oh, this is, oh, PBI. I can't even see, this is how bad I am. Watch this. It's gonna, it's gonna tell me that I have, um, that I have to pay my bill because I haven't even paid my, uh, I have to pay for Adobe. Look, look, just to let you know that I'm really not in bad, I'm really in bad shape. Load payment, I don't have the money to pay for this little thing. And they, they asked for a lot, but I really wanted to do, oh, has the one regular, I, I, I have to bootleg, uh, uh, but I wanted the best. I had the, I had the money, that's why I got this. Let me just see. It doesn't show here, but there's another one that shows it with a picture of it. Let me see this. Nope. All in PDF. A photo of silver. This is it, look. Look at this. Okay, this is not, it's close, it's close. Basically, you, you do a silver certificate and then see assets belonging to this trust. 20 ounce bar of silver. This, what, I'm being told is make sure I'm sharing. I'm scaring. So yeah, is you can you can uh, discharge billions of dollars of debt with one single bar if you have it done the right way. That's what we're gonna do. You're gonna be able to discharge infinite amount of debt just by having a silver surety bond. Let me see this last one. I wanted to see the picture where the guy had the twenty bars. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is gonna be fun closing all these windows. Okay. These, I'm, all, I'm closing all of these. Close all tabs. And I'm close. I have to close all these because they bother me. Oh, okay, I even closed up that thing. Well, I'm, I was done with it, so that's it. Okay, so now, so okay, now I'm gonna continue. I greetings, Miss Harris. Welcome. Uh, I have everybody on mute. I should be done in this with this presentation, and I'm gonna unmute everybody. Uh, but feel free to look over, look through the chat, uh, and. Um, you know, type any questions you may have or anything you want to discuss when I'm done. Another maybe 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so now this is it. I have to take the shirt off. I have to change my shirt quick. Excuse me. I'm going to leave it shared right there so you can look at that.
Okay, I'm back. My microphone is unmuted. Let me see. Okay, yeah, that's working. I'm sharing. We're recording. Good. Okay. And so now, uh, so we're going to be basically doing the uh, silver uh, surety bond, a silver surety bond to discharge debt. Look, silver certificate right over here. Let me zoom in. I hope, uh, of course, it's going to take me to a different page. I just want to see the in the image, open image in a new tab. All right. So we see this here, silver certificate of the United States of America, $1. Basically, you're going to be dictating this number right here. It's going to be a number that you created. This may not be, it's, look, $1 in silver payable to the bearer on demand. Um, they, 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 they basically going to make them based off of your silver surety bond than all those documents that I just opened. Okay, next. So where I'm getting with that is, if somebody is in a position where they're they're still going through the process and wait, okay, you can't you can't see your wait. Can you you can't see my screen? I, I don't know what that means. Who, who said this? Miss Harris? Just retype that because I can't see that. I don't understand what that means. You can't see my screen. Well, I could see my screen over here. No, I could see my screen unless you're calling from, uh, maybe you're calling from a phone. You you have to, you know, you have to call in from, from Zoom to see the screen or you have to be on a desktop. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, cause I'm looking right at my screen on my cell phone. So let me stop share and let me stare again. Okay. So I'm back. Uh, if anyone else can't see my screen, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna continue. Good. Okay, now, uh, so this is the silver certificate. So where I'm getting at with that is if somebody is basically at a position where they're, uh, they're, they're just starting and they need a little bit more time, let me check the YouTube quick. All right, that looks good. All right, we got a couple of people there. All right, let me minimize that because that distracts me. And uh, if they're and if they're not going to go full through with, the, I'm developing ways on how to make money until you go through the learning process without having to do nothing, without or I should say, with having to do minimal stuff. Because my biggest problem is if if I was able to find a way how I could support myself while I'm going through the detoxification, so your brain. So your brain can, can um, uh, uh, retain the information. My problem was my brain couldn't retain the information. My heart did. So I knew it was something I had to do, but I couldn't do it because, because I had uh, some, some heavy metal toxins in my body. I cleared all that stuff up. It took me 10 years. About nine years it took me. So I'm in the best shape of my life and every year I can get in a better shape. But just what I'm getting at is if uh, that'd be the best thing to do is to just go through the first package and get it done. But if you don't understand what you're doing, like I had a, a, a brother, Musa, um, you know, he was going through the, doc you got to read every single, single document. Let me just put this participant list here. You got to, and he pointed out a mistake and I was like, wow, you are right. That was a very, very good catch, Musa. And now I've read through these documents, the common law, I mean, or the, uh, I think it was the common law copyright. I might've read it once or twice, but uh, you know, I guess I, I was focusing more on the bigger documents and these other ones, I'm like, well, you know, it's gotta be right, even if there's a little error, but this was a big error. One little word said, I am or I am not the surety, which we'll discuss very shortly, Musa. Now, uh, so so the best thing to do would be to either just go, you know, straight through, but if you don't understand what you're reading and, uh, you know, what your, what your, the documents you're filing, then, you know, I'd rather you, you, you better off just go through the beginning and, and go through some videos, give it a year or so. Don't just rush through it. So in the meantime, there are a couple of ways on how to make money. This would be one, this would be one of it. You make a silver certificate. You don't have to be a secure party credit or anything. And then you go right here. Look at what I was looking up my own, because as a joke, you know, as a joke, but not really as a joke over here, and my screen is sharing, is this is my Google business listing. I, you know, I basically, I wanted 
you see the YouTube here? Oh, this is playing? Why is that playing? Okay, so uh, over here where it says where the video was taken, I was like, because, you know, I'm like, ah, what if it said, what if it said my private bank? You know, it was as, as a joke, right? So then I said, all right, let me do it. So now I, I, you, you basically do a Google listing and then you have them mail you a card at your suite so they don't have your home address. And then once you do, you can make any company. They don't ask you for filing receipts or anything. So look, you can't see this unless I blow it up. And it says, Jetton Leader Private Bank, Estate and Trust, Lead to Province, United States Minor Outlying Islands, 110 Mastic Road. That's the post office box. Not, the, not, your, not your post office box. It's your post office address of the post office, the address of the post office, and then suite 505. I'm blessed. My postmaster is a, he's bang, bang. I get anything. He would never return anything unless it was out of the ordinary. But anyway, so I got that. And then I, I put, you know, I'm going to have a couple of listings, you know, one is for the bank, but I want to, I want to actually go over because this is true. The uh, description, home post info, info right here. I'm just going to read it quick. See, now it's not showing. I heard it. No. Oh my God. Insights, reviews, calls, message, photos, product services, website, users, <laughs> the bio. I, I wrote up a bio on this and I, this is not it. This is just my services. Oh, here it is. We are an international banking foundation focused on the restoration and creation of native American sovereign free man nations throughout the Americas with a K and outlying islands. We are privileged to operate our foundation from the generous funding and donations received from our kind international contributors utilizing their estate and trust funds. Bang, bang, to the beat of the drum. Bang, 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 to the beat of the drum. So now that, I did that. I'm gonna split these up into different categories, but so getting back to how you can make money. One is you could, you could be a bail bondsman. You could be a bail bondsman. I'm, I'll make a website. Once I do it, I'll make a website just until you can do your first 1099. Once you could do that, it's done. You don't need to go back, you know? So, so how to make money, you know? So one would be being a bail bondsman. If you see it, this is very, very small font. Let me see if I can increase it a little. I increased it like crazy here, but so basically uh, bail bondsman. Okay, services, private investigator, background investigation, insurance, person, bail, bail bondsman, get out of jail fast, international bounty hunter, interdimensional vampire hunter. I'm having fun with this, man. Don't hang me, man. This is you. I'll never be in the same position ever, ever in my life. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm not, you're not, you're not getting any older. So if I can't be my true authentic self, then I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to exist. So I'm my true authentic self. This is what I do. I, I like doing these kind of things. You know, I like being different and I like, you know, that's what I am because these vampires, I hate them. And, you know, they're only reflect reflections of myself. So, so at one point in my lower self, you know, as I was, you know, in the past in the years uh, of my life, you know, you're you're, you're pretty much a a, a, a you're successful, you successful. That's what the word success is. You successful. That means you're a leech. All you're doing is leeching. You're leeching off of everything. Now you become the creator. You become the creator, and then everyone else, basically, they lean to you like a flower leaning towards the sun. You know, at when you get this stuff done. So this would be a good area direction to make some money. As soon as I do it, we could do it. I already know how you can make money, not only to get people out of jail, but for construction projects. There's a bid bond, big bond, performance bond, and payment bond. We can make all of those just with a signature. Once you have the private security agreement, legal notice and demand, power of attorney, common law cop, you know, a couple of these documents, you're done. You don't even have to send it in. You don't even, as long as you get those recorded, you can make a bond. You can make a silver surety bond. So if somebody's like half in, half out, I don't know. I'm scared. You know, like, I, I don't know. You could do this. 
you know, I'm just giving everybody ideas. Get, uh, so, so you could do the construction. You know, if, if, if there's a school that has to get a new roof, they, they, I know, I've already investigated it. They pay the bail guy about uh, 2%. So if the project is a million dollars, which there's tons of million dollar roofing projects, what about like masonry and highways? But the roofing is good because you can go, the, just to bid on it, they have to pay 2%, just to bid on it. So so 2% of a million, it's like uh, like $20,000, but they, you know, you could do it for cheaper. You do it for 20, like for, for uh, 0.2% or something, just for a thousand dollars. You're not gonna lose, cause you know, you're not gonna lose unless there's an accident and then you have to figure out how to do that, which I'm gonna do. Okay, now, document preparation. I, I, mean, I just threw this in there. I don't even know, maybe, and that's it. All right, so, and then you could do more business listings here just to have fun with it. Do one just as a private investigator, whatever. All right, done with that. So we were talking about this. Let me just change this because it's it's uh, I, it's too big for my eyes. Okay. And then the second one is this. Once you have this silver surety bond, look at this. The reason why I brought this up is I was looking on Google Maps for my listing on, on Google My Business and it wouldn't come up. So I did a search and I said private bank, and look what comes up over here. Bank of America, private bank, Bank of America. And it says here, what you basically, you can put, you could borrow against your assets. And so if you have, it'll cost you 200 bucks, 400, maximum two, 300 bucks to make that silver certificate, get it notarized, uh, copywritten, trademarked, uh, registered, register. You do that and then you go here and then you look for your liquidity needs, assets right here. A complete picture of your wealth includes the borrowing power of your assets. It goes through everything here. Look, standard client, it says here, you could basically, a flexible demand line of credit secured by your marketable security accounts. You could do this or you could, because uh, I don't know if Fidelity does this, but I already have a bank here, I'll show you. A brokerage account, Fidelity, Fidel, IT, right here. All right, so I'll, that's, that's loading and fi flexible financial options. Can you specialize the assets? Look, flexible financing options can help you use your specialized assets such as yachts, aircraft, commercial real estate, or fine art as collateral to obtain liquidity to meet your unique goals. All right. And then this is the fidelity. You know, if I go in here, log in, I already I have an account. And basically you get a brokerage account and a cash cash management account. Uh, and this way you could you could pretty much deposit securities. Deposit securities meaning if you sue somebody. You, you could depart, you know, but there's a way to do it. I, I couldn't go down that rabbit hole right now, but I did get the account just to show you. And they also do, uh, they can manage your account. There's a special account where you get an account representative. You, I'm already a user, log in. Okay, you see? So I already have my user account. I'm not even going to open it up. So, and I'm getting out of that, by the way. Nah, let's just stay right there. So now, um, was I getting at about the fidelity? Yeah, there's even, if you go here, there's even bank accounts of for, uh, for trusts. I don't know, I got to the point and then I abandoned the project. I spoke to them. They can be a trustee on your on your trust. So you you don't even have to have the, you know, I mean, of course you wanna have a trustee, you be the executor and then the beneficiary, but throw one of these guys as a trust, they do all your taxes for you and everything, done, included. And all they want is your securities. They don't charge you to open up. They don't. So your securities, if you win a court case, you get all that stuff done where, where you basically want you, you know, they say, okay, well, you know, when they pay you, uh, you know, they're going to pay you in, in like a security. They're not going to pay cash. So, you know, when you win a court case for a billion dollars or so, you know, they're not going to pay you. They, it's going to be an insurance thing. They're going to give you some type of a bond and like a, a very certified bond or secured fund bond so then you deposit that somewhere and then 
and then it's an asset. Then you could you could low uh, you could pretty much take credit off on from that like unlimited a lot plus the 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 silver surety bonds. Okay, so let me keep going because I got these lined up. Each one leads into the other. So once you do that, right? And then we got the the, the bank. Here. Then I went. Over, I already went over. Look, this is the Genesis two church that I was just telling you about. The FDA they they attacked them. They took their websites down because this guy was throughout Africa healing. There's videos on YouTube. Check it out. His name is Jim Humble. Preach. <laughs> this guy, man, you just watch it. He's very, he's a very simple, humble man. And you know, is it Jim Humble? Of course it's Jim Humble. Yeah, Jim Humble. And he is a he's like a humble man. And he did so much work. He used to work for the government. And then he was in South America, South America, and then he basically healed malaria with chlorine. Uh, I've been using it for 10 years, and it's it's changed my life. It's changed my life. I gargle with it every day. And uh, I gargle with it every day. I use it for everything. Um, MMS, it's called. You know, I already went through it earlier on in the in the in the recording. So next. So now where I'm getting okay. So I know I'm jumping around here, but let me just see here because I'm going to talk about class action lawsuits, American National. Okay. The pictograph I went over. Pictographs. Okay. Now, all right, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to take these in order now. So you got these here. So Melanie's not here, as you know. Melanie has a situation. She's down in Florida or Georgia, I can't recall, but her son has been taken by police. Now, what happens is if you have this paperwork in place and, and let's say we have a group here, we can do a class action lawsuit against, basically, it just means multiple people are suing the same agency. It's, it's a class action lawsuit, you know? So you just put it on the same docket number. Now this, we can, you know, class action, we could do class action administrative uh, procedure. How we do that is we have to have a common um, defense on let's say a person. So now if a person is um, been arrested and we have a peace treaty or a uh, non-war pact with that family, that trust, which is Melanie, right? And then they kidnap her son. We could do a class action administrative procedure. We don't even have to make it a lawsuit yet. So we make it a class action administrative procedure where we everybody bombards them with with bills for viol for for endangering endangering uh, a, a a peace a a, a, a non law. We could use their terminology a peace treaty. In endangering the welfare of uh, endangering a peace treaty, whatever you, I could find ten things. I just can't find them right on the tip of my tongue right now. And then you bill them, and then and then you know one person goes down there and process serves them. That's why I am. I guess I didn't bookmark it. I guess I didn't bookmark it, but um, you, I, I'm going to become a notary. And well, I, I could become a notary even without being a notary. I can be one with a with a 98 as uh, with when I get my fourth entity, which I don't have yet. And then you basically get a seal, and then you you could notarize documents as an ambassador, as an as an ex as your excellency, you know, um, you know, uh, a, a, a diplomat. As a diplomat, you can notarize your own. I can notarize anybody's document, but I want to be a process server. This way, I can serve them papers. Not only process server, but also that's what I got involved with the, when I was mentioning about the uh, postal employee. Maybe there's a program where you could be a postal, like some kind of a uh, subcontractor, where you could, you know, you could deliver mail registered to them, stamp it, everything. But the process server. So this way. For example, Melanie's case where her son is in jail for self-defense, you know, and they haven't even charged him. And if we send, we if we do a class action administrative procedure to the court, not even straight to the to the to the jail, to the warden of the jail, I would go down to that jail and get that boy out um, because I would I would dismiss I would dismiss the administrative procedure in exchange for the boy. You know, these are just things I'm thinking. If not, we continue. 
They're not letting him go. So when he comes out, you know, we'll give him a couple of million. You know, we'll give him a couple of bucks when he when he gets out. But we're going to continue. We're going to continue with with the with this. It's very powerful if multiple people do um suits. So, like you know, I would come in like an American national special agent or something like that. You know, uh, I would have a badge for it. You can do this. You can do any bad any name you want. You can make a badge for. I can show you how to do it lawfully. And you could design your own badge too. Prince is an identity. The pictographs, I said, you got to start doing pictographs, pictographs of two people. Uh, let me see, you know, because I have so many windows here. And because uh, I would have loved to see a pictograph of two people shaking hands, smiling. You know what I mean? I would have to draw it. That's where um, King would come in because he's, a, he's, a, like a, he's an artist. Let me check YouTube for a second. Let me just check my mics. My mic is good there. And let me just check YouTube here quick. Not that one. Now, how did it pop up over here now? All right, a couple of people watching there. Let me minimize that. Now. So we got this. That's why. That's why you're gonna have your own font, and uh, we're gonna start making pictographs of everything. I already know what the, they are. The one for United is the one with, with the two hands shaking of two chiefs uh, smiling, shaking their hands. Nations would be like a TP, you know, with with a with a chief inside, you know, or, and with with other other um, TPs behind him, right? That would be like a tribe. And then United uh, Nation, United Native, you know, and that's it. Uh, uh, of America, America, you show a picture of Americas, of North and South America, a picture. They know. And then that's it. Of is the squiggly line, this sign right here. United, you know, is this right here. Of would be this symbol right here. This, this squiggly line, I don't know what it's called. All right, next. All right. Now, I'm going to share screen again, but I want to, um, you know what, let me just continue and then I'll just take everybody off. Look, I have had, I showed you earlier, oh, now I, I closed that screen. I've been in construction for 40 years, so I, 37 years, okay, uh, but really 40. I can build biodomes. And what I want to do is I want to offer and propose to anybody that's interested is I can, and I'm not going to do anything cheap, like, uh, you know, anything under 10 million, but 10 million to a hundred million. All you have to do is I'm going to have my own architectural firm, right? Where you can basically, I want to build pyramid shaped ones. These are okay, but the pyramid shaped ones are better and easier to build. Uh, and then they're better. They're going to be the same dimensions as the pyramid of Giza. And you could build it right over your existing house until you finish all your paperwork. So you don't have to move and go through the hassle of moving and everything. You could just get it done right over your house. So 10 million minimum, but I'll do that for a little while for the first year. And then I'm not taking, I'm not going to be taking any more clients. You know, once, you know, my paperwork is done, I'm just going to be building them for my own, for nations that I make um, peace treaties with. Let's use that word loosely, but it's going to be a non-war, non-war pact with. Uh, I'm only going to be doing it for that, for humanitarian philanthropic. But right now, a great idea would be I can write you out an, esti uh, an estimate and then you could accept it. You could accept it for value and then send it back to me. And I have it. And as we do, this is um, <clears throat> anyone who's interested in that, you would have to like we would have to. That's it. We're like pretty much family because like if we're going to be doing this. We have to. I would do a non a non disclosure agreement. I you're you're in. You have access to anything I have. What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. This is serious stuff. But ten million. I'll do a couple of ten millions. But hundred million. Hundred. I want you know like a hundred million. You know or fifty million uh, dollar uh, homes with uh, a huge greenhouse. You'll have. I'll set you up with all your own livestock, everything, river, ponds, everything. But for now, to do a quick one over your house until you finish your paperwork so you can breathe some fresh air, so you don't have to go through what I went through for the past week, because they, they sprayed us with three days worth of chemtrails, plus the storm came in, 
and I'm de- I'm very I'm very detoxed, so all that affects me because they they're spraying the CV on us. They're spraying the CV on us. It's it's you know on in one aspect it's natural. You know the flu comes in every year. So anyway, now that I changed my shirt, I'm gonna just uh, let me try this. <laughs> Let me just put a sweater on instead because I'm sweating. When I when I get pumped up like this, my body, like everything is sweating right now. So so these here. Um okay, microphone's good. And so so I could do this. So anybody interested, email me. I'm gonna write that. Put it in the chat. For instructions for biodomes. Biodome pyramids. Let me just throw it in in the YouTube as well. Let me see if there's any. Paul Costa, why don't you join in? You got the meeting ID? Maybe he's the other, no. Maybe he is over here. Who knows? Okay, let me continue. Now, I have to, uh, I have to minimize this YouTube because I can't, I can't function when it's right in front of me, so I minimize it. Okay, what's next here? So, I'll, you know, I can, I can build them. I have, I have, probably about like individuals that I know personally that have worked with me. I have a very big family. We're all in construction. We can handle it. I could do a hundred of these. I have numerous, like maybe a thousand companies that I network with that I know. I even helped found them. I helped, I taught them everything. I, I never, I never shared, I never kept secrets. Just like I'm doing with you with this stuff, with, with uh, like humanity and in public, I'm, I did with my business. So um, what is this here? Ah, oh, that's what that is. Okay, got it. No, maybe, I'll, maybe I am gonna keep that small. No, I'm gonna keep that small. Just one moment, I'll continue. Got it, okay. Now, next, complete with uh, with everything, with your own, you have your own atmosphere, you have your own water source, you know, uh, with, a, with, a, with a, what do you call it, with a, um, a well, deep, deep well, and then you can put your, your jewel, your uh, precious metals inside the water tower, so you can have uh, energized living water with silver and gold monatomic water. Everything, even your cows are going to be drinking monatomic water. You know, put diamonds, rubies, anything inside that tower. We could do all that. We could do all that. The whole thing's gonna be made out of silver. The, the whole thing is, is silver, you know, silver, maybe pure, maybe coated. Next, it includes building permits, everything. I'm an expediter. I'm basically gonna go down to these building departments and rip them a new asshole. Like I, I did, you know, I do not like the building department over there. If 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 I sue them deep enough, I can I can pretty much take over the whole building department because I would own it because I would have a lien on the building. I would, and then, and then you basically can put in your own people. You know, you could, you could basically uh, make a contribution to a, uh, you could, you could do a fundraiser for a particular candidate that you have in your, this is what the politics do. You know, somebody that you endorse. Uh, quotations, you know, um, somebody it's whatever on your teams. I know you and the building departments are tough because they don't want to see this kind of stuff. You know, they don't want to see these things. But in certain counties, in certain uh, towns, they allow it. Next. And also, when you're building the thing, right, look at what they have now. Virtual reality. Vert architecture. I have a degree. I don't have a degree in architecture, but I'm a dropout. I went to school for architecture. I'm a great architect. Now, you could pretty much... You could go inside of your new home. 
in virtual reality and say, oh no, that's too small. I need a bigger kitchen. No, I need a bigger kitchen. So let me just zoom into some of these so you guys can see them. All right, let's see. You see? With the virtual reality on. You see, you could see the whole thing. So you could do this, you know, uh, basically, if we if we go on contract, if we go on contract, I'm going to I'm going to hire I'm going to basically have my own architecture and engineering firm in my own in my own company. But for the time being, I'm going to just hire one and I'm going to make sure he has a lot of staff, the staff. I'm going to say, I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. And then you you create your own staff. That that's he, they're employees of his, and then in two years you take them, you open up a company with them, you go partners with them, or you or you give them high titles in your architecture firm. Done. That's how you do it. You basically do that in every department, in accounting, in law, in in legal. If you have a lawyer, you get all those interns and stuff, those smart interns. You take the best ones, you give them double the amount, you take them. That's you know, it's that's that's how uh, that's how business. I've done it all my life. You know, um, it's it's a dog eat dog world. So you know, and that's it. So virtual. Peter O'Toole. Oh, so I mean, this here Peter O'Toole in Troy. I know I've just made a little little clip of it, but it's oh. actually the wrong clip. I'm sorry for the pain I've caused you. But there's a clip in this where he says, "If it is the will of the gods." If it is the will of the gods, meaning if, if he says basically, will Troy fall? This movie is phenomenal. Like I've watched this movie about six or seven times. I highly recommend it. It's basically, um, who's in this? Here's, I have the cast right here. Look, Brad Pitt, Eric Bana, these people, Peter O'Toole, he pays the king of Troy. And basically, the only reason why I have this up is because there's a part where he says, will Troy fall to the Greeks? And he says, if it is the will of the gods, it will. And what that means is if the astrology says it, it to be, it shall be. So right now, there is a passing of the torch of the old system to the new, which is natural living. So. The thing with that is, is that the powers that be, they have to follow natural law, the will of the gods, the dictation that's, that the astrology says. They have to, have to follow it. They cannot not follow it because they would, they can't, they have to. Otherwise, they would, they would self-destruct. So now they want to pass the torch to us, but nobody's stepping up to put an infrastructure into place to make a honorable passing of the torch, epic passing of the torch, a millennial, like uh, 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 an epoch passing of the torch from the age of Pisces to the age of Aquarius. The age of Pisces, that's when Rome really took control. Before that, it was the age of Aries. This is from, from Greece all the way when this when this movie was made from Greece all the way to like Arabia that geographical section was the ruler of the age of Aries the ruler of the age of Pisces was Europe that's why the Vatican and Rome ruled and even the word certified male is wait that was another word Registered, Regis, registered male. The the the. If you break it down it, it, with etymology, it's a registered. You you know you're you're retarded, and it's it's it, the 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 Regis is the king. You know regal Regis, regal uh, is the owner. So it's it's basically a stamp. So the king just put a stamp. When we do register mail, the king put a stamp. We're getting it somewhere. where I'm going to have my own stamps. We're going to make our own stamps with with the with the hide. Um, what do they call those? Uh, hide graphs. You know how they do skin graphs when you get when you need laser, uh, when you need um, plastic surgery and they take a skin graph and they take skin off of your waist and put it on your face. 
that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do uh, stamps. I'm going to have a whole stamping system. I'm going to have an international, uh, international native uh, uh, trade and postal service. And it can be done. And I'm, it will be done. And I am going to I am going to do it. There's multiple people at the same time that are doing this. But I have to do one that I believe in that would work better than the others. And it's going to be only through native tribal non-war harmony packs. You keep on doing them. I'm going to travel the Americas. I can't handle the world, but the Americas, yes. Anywhere where the sun shines, <laughs> I don't do cold. But, you know, in the summertime, I'll do Canada too. Uh, from Canada to the Falkland Islands. I'm going to go with, visit with tribes and I'm going to make non-war pact bonds, fund them. So if they want to play in the Babylon world, they can, you know, and, uh, you know, have my tribe exchange brides, exchange grooms with, with their tribe and make a very, very strong stru structure. Have, have um, a, tr a postage, you know, daily, monthly, yearly, whatever on ships, on ships. You, you know, you transport people too. Anybody can come from South America. They don't need no passport. You know, they're going to have, uh, you know, uh, native traveling documents. Nobody can stop you. United, uh, the U.S. Coast, Coast Guard, they, you show them your documents. They're like, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Keep it moving. Keep it moving, U.S. Coast Guard. You go with your yacht. You go down, you go down to Brazil. You know, you get yourself a couple of brides, a couple of, uh, you know, um, all right. So that's that. That's why I brought this. They can't change what is coming. They can't. It's just that we're not stepping up. Humanity is not stepping up to basically put some infrastructure into place. You think we're going to save the world with, with, with crypto? Uh, yeah, you got to have that crypto personal on national, on a national level, an intranet. Not an internet or an ethernet. No, it's got to be an intranet. And yes, that word is real and it exists. It means only inside of a tribe, inside of a city. It never leaves that city. That, that's where that stays. You have your miners, you have your national, your native tribal national form of, of, of uh, sec security uh, asset back crypto that's it asset back crypto and even the word crypto is not even a good word you have to you know you have to call it something else we have to call it something else it's cryptic you know but actually maybe i don't know we'll stick with that that that's not important now as long as you have control of it nobody can ever penetrate it it's on your local land you know and uh it's going to be fully funded backed by physical um delivery of silver and that's what we're going to do all right Oh man, look at you guys are troopers. You guys are still with me over here. You guys are troopers over here. I'm done. I'm almost done. Let's see what else I got. But the footprints with the birth certificates, we're going to make our own birth certificates. First, you make a birth certificate on, the, on a tribal, native, national level. National meaning nation, your nation, you know? And then, and then because otherwise, look, I searched for Vatican. They, the Vatican has a secret copy of, of my and your kids' footprints in the Vatican because the soul of the feet, they want to control your soul. So they have, so I want to get this back. I need it back. It's my property. So I'm going down to the Vatican and I'm going to knock on the front door and I'm going to put one right in the front door. And I'm going to go down there and I'm going to like, I need my, my shit. I need my shit. Call it up. All right. Oh, Cody Brown. I'm just admitting you. He's joining. Oh, hey, Cody. I got everybody on mute. I'm going to be unmuting everybody very, very shortly. Welcome. Okay. So that's, you know, that's it on this. The birth certificate, basically, we have to make our own birth certificate, you know, we're not going to call it birth certificate. We're going to call it, um, uh, you know, we, we could call it a reoccurrence because, you know, or we can call it a endowment, something else, just not, not birth certificate. He's not a ship. 
So we got to get that terminology out. It's basically a creation story, something like that. I don't know, but it's just definitely not going to be birth certificate, the name on a, on a native and our documents, the native tribal documents are going are gonna to be more powerful and potent. That's why when you get your 98 number, they ask you, when was this created? When was this trust created? What, uh, oh, you're an individual, you need an item. When were you, know, when, were you uh, uh, when, when did you come into creation? You know, and that kind of stuff. So, uh, because you're only getting the 98 to play in the Babylon system world, but, but there's a world above that, which is the natural common law. And that does have power over, you know, superseding the Babylon system. It does. And anytime you do anything with any document, you do a physical document. If you could do it on Hyde, if not, you do it on parchment paper. The United States Constitution was done on parchment paper, done. That's it. Next, UPU, I already went through this. And then that's it. All right, now I'm just going to go over just a couple of, uh, of things here. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to open these up right here. Uh, well, that's it. So now I'm going to just... Let me just see what's going on here. Just go over a couple of these of these videos. So this is us live watching, and uh, this one failed. I did this here quick, uh, you know, just to check it out. Sometimes I'll do a nighttime uh, call. How to enable these in Google Chats. Uh, you gotta watch this video if you want. HD announcements. I'm gonna start doing whenever I feel inclined. I'm gonna do like you know Q and A. So this way, if you're a part of this group where it says here how to enable and use Google chats. I sent people out. Now I'm going to open this document for all, for everybody that just joined in. Uh, and just to reiterate, no, not that. Right here. I'm just opening up a Word document here. Wow, that's slow. So a Q and A. Let's also use no. Uh, we're, we're not going to use. We're going to use Google Chat. Yes, but not to register for these meetings anymore. Wow, that's slow. Okay, not this yet. If anybody has gotten gotten this email, you know, uh, I'm basically introducing myself here. You could. Uh, I already went over it. And then if you're interested in joining a private group. I need to know a couple of things about you. So if you want to get an email, like invitation to a private group, my email is in the chat. Email me, say those exact same words in the first line or in the, in the subject is I'm interested in the private group. Please send me an invitation. I'll send you this. You take it. This is all this information, your lawful or legal name, international private name. What do you want to be called? Where you were born, where you live, age, if you want. Uh, phone number, email, bio, give me a quick bio. I want to know what's, you know, uh, who you are, what do you do, what you're about. And then e uh, email me and then I'll send you this, you fill it out and then I'll add your email. And then also mention if, if you want your, your info, this info only to be public or private. Your email is going to be public or private. That's the one thing some people, they don't even want to deal with anybody. So they'll just come in on the meetings, ask their questions, save this. Let me go back down. Let me minimize that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I made this video about the uh, secure party predator office supplies and stuff. Libra season over here. So I'm trying to hustle and get my paper, my documents in. This is me buying a vehicle. You know, um, I have more updates on that, which I'm going to do during the day in the morning. That's it. All right. Wow, you guys are troopers, man. I cannot believe you guys stood for how long? <laughs> Let me stop share. Okay, anybody wants, they can unmute themselves. And uh, unmute themselves if they, if they choose. Hi, Lisa. Uh, or you can maintain muted. And uh, you, anybody can raise their hand if they want me to come to them and may, mention their name. Let me just straighten this stuff out. All right, so now we're in, what is this called? Gallery view? Yep, it's called gallery view. Uh, let me move this chat over here. Uh, okay, so 
let me let me ask uh you know if anybody came through to you know watch the presentation lisa how are you doing since you've unmuted you're, you're aware you're unmuted correct yes yes okay and then you can hear me clearly yes i can thank you thank right. you how are you doing this evening uh busy, busy. good <laughs> now were, were you the um have we been communicating by cell phone yes we i called you first and then we've been communicating through messaging I, th I think I know who you are. You're the one where they 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 took your car and stuff in Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did more than that. Yeah, they did that. <laughs> and <Exactly>. only <laughs> So I, I mean, I this week. Okay. So uh, I know we were talking about a lot of stuff, but I have to get my. I have to get my. Where is my phone? Oh, my phone is up there because I'm I'm watching my Zoom. <laughs> I put my phone up there so I could see the how the Zoom looks. Mm -hmm. as, as, party anyway so yeah i mean if you want to talk since everyone else is muted let me just make sure uh that mute participants ask all to unmute okay a lot of participants to rename themselves play sound when someone joins enable waiting rooms lock meeting i'm going to do ask all to unmute i'm i'm asking you just so you know that you can unmute and then you could I w I'm going to look in the chat if you can't unmute. So you don't have to, but I'm asking all to un unmute just to test it. If anybody wants to talk now, let me look at the chat. Make sure somebody's not telling me I can't see you. I can't uh, or I can't hear you. Let me look at the whole chat and see if anybody asked any questions. Be back soon. I will be shortly. Hello. I can't. I can. Yes. That's it, we're good. Okay, thanks, can't see your screen, correct. Okay, good, email me for instruction, good. Lisa, you wanna ask any questions? Yes, you said you wanted to get a serious 98 number. Are you gonna give up your social security number? I did, I well, giving up that social doesn't ever go away, you know, and let me move this uh, screen to my, to up here. Okay, give me one moment, because I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm talking to you on an angle, so I'd mm -hmm. rather on the front here. my process. You could use that terminology, you know, you could use that terminology, giving up the social, that social never goes away. I, I actually it does. Okay. You get series eight. From what I understand from previous people, when you get a series 98 number, you get, a, that's another so, different social security number. You actually give up your social security number, which is tied into all the Federal Reserve, which is just all your money, a big chunk of your money. Well, so once you give it up, Giving it up means that you don't have ownership. So in one sense, you don't because you're you're creating a new you. Uh, you're creating a new you, and and you're basically creating another account with with the pay the filings at the United States Treasury. But the social doesn't go away; it still exists. You know. It no, you still, give it up. You can give that? it up. You can give it up because Patrick Devine did it, and other people have done it. You okay. give up your social security now number it gives you all access to all your accounts attached to your social security number which there is a minimum of 10. okay so all right good. Money, that's through the federal reserve uh -huh. not to be smart Alec. i just it's never I, listening to I, I want you to i want you to explain and describe that what i want to just say is that i do enjoy the content from patrick but I've, I'm only listening to it. Once I'm on somebody religiously, I go from the beginning video and I watch everything they've made. So right now I have mm -hmm. a system that has already worked for people. I'm just doing that now. So I can't do that and watch all the Patrick Divine stuff. So that, mm -hmm. that's why I made this because we are exchanging information. So um because there could be somebody that's like well i'm not doing a first treasury pack i want to do that so um mm -hmm. you know for example you know I, I would love for you to you know explain since no one else uh is unmuting explain or go over the process because i would love to know like for example getting the social on the low uh, upper lower or is it all lowercase so a new social security card you or, would give the social security number was derived by the United States of America, not the United States. The United States of America is a corporation. We're not corporations, we're individuals. When you give up your social security number and people have done this, many people have done it, I'm actually working on it. You actually, they have to surrender all the money that's tied to your social security number. 
you don't need a social security number. You need to get out of the system so you're a diplomat, get diplomatic immunity. Right. A series 98 number gives you a new number that's international, not US. So that's the number you want. It tied, like you tie that into the 98, do you list that the, the previous version of you was the social, right? Yeah, you figure that out. I don't know the procedure exactly right now. I, I do, I do, because I did it two, there's two different ways I know of it that exist. Mm -hmm. Learn a real jam, you're going to get a 98 number and you're not going to have it connected with your social. But when you're ready to do it the right, if you if you urgently need to protect your assets, like if somebody's after you, you uh, like you're being sued or something, you get a 98 completely disconnected in the exact same name. And then as it's a trust, foreign grant is trust. You put all your assets in that and it's international. And then you can get a you can get an international foreign grant is trust uh, account in the United States. I haven't done it though, but I know people that have, and you could do that. You put all your assets and your funds in there for protection purposes. If you're not, you don't have any problems, then you do it the, the right way. You go down to the IRS and you say, hey, how do I do this the right way? Or you can call them and look, I'm doing this. I'm going down there with my documents. I'm saying, look, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm getting, you know, okay. I'm, go ahead. Do you realize that the IRS has nothing to do with this country, the U.S.? It's a corporation that's not not allowed to actually be in this corporation, this country at all. It's it's main corporate headquarters is over at Cuba or something like that. I can't remember the name of the country. It's on an island. They're not actually allowed to function in this. The Congress and the Senator set all that up so they can actually charge us more. Right. But the IRS doesn't have to do anything. And I talk to the IRS and they don't care for me too much because I ask too many questions. <laughs> Okay, it's just, you know, I mean, in my, you know, you, you know, you kind of, you got to follow the yellow brick road to, like, to get to get to get out. If you don't want to deal with the IRS, I'm going to be dealing with the IRS because I'm, I'm not like trying to get out of the system. I'm trying to, I'm trying to have multiple identities and multiple, uh, I want to have multiple hats, multiple shoes. I am not abandoning my, uh, my people down here. I'm always going to have something in the system. No, but it's 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 gonna be international and it's gonna be native tribal, but in order to operate and to have a buffer, you have to you're gonna have to have a border security. You're gonna I'm gonna have my own borders, my own border patrol on my house. If anybody comes in my house, if they want to come in my house, they're gonna have to go through customs and they're gonna I stamp passports when you come into my tribal lands. So mm -hmm. that's the way it's going to be for me, you know. We're, so, we're going to be in constant communication with the Treasury and the IRS. There you go. You know, it's. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm in, in it for the kill. I want everything. You know, in other words, I want keys to the kingdom, to everything. That's why I'm a bounty hunter. I'm a bounty hunter, and this week I'm getting my bounty hunter badge because I'm going to seek out everything and correct every wrong that was done to me, even those. Nazis that injected me with all that shit and made me, I was a beautiful kid. We were all beautiful kids. They injected us with all those uh, those things and they, they got me sick. I was a sick, I was sick as a child. I don't know why it affected me and it didn't affect everybody else. Maybe I had a low immune system, maybe something or anything, but every wrong that was ever done to me, I'm gonna write now. And I'm going back and I'm gonna spend my entire role soon that shit out of all these people. Then I'm gonna take a break. And that's a lot of people. Every, I have records of everything that I've ever done in my life. Every ticket, every ticket, every ticket. I'm gonna have a full staff. I'm gonna train that full staff. I'm gonna have lawyers, accountants, everything. I'm, I do not want to get out of the system now. Later on, once I set everything up, I have my trustees, I have my tribal trustees. I have them stacked up one after another, one after another. It's gonna be a flow chart. It's gonna be, you know, my personal family, that's my tribe. And then I'm going to have other tribes that are around me that are very close to me. You're going to be making um, common law ties with tribes around you by, um, excuse me, by giving and exchanging daughters. You know, for example, your son is going to marry a neighboring tribe. They're not going to marry within your own house, you know, in your own home. So now you're going to have a bond with those people. In my country, in Albania, that's a very strong bond. And they do it in blood, too. It's, you know, 
uh, sometimes. And but if you're if you don't have any marriage ties with a tribe, then you could do a blood blood brother thing. That is a very strong tribe. We get that. So now, uh, so what about those tribes there? We now what about the collective of say twelve tribes, right? Like what I'm doing, the twelve tribes of Long Island and New York. I'm gonna make non-war harmony, non-war pacts with them, and then uh, you know all the way down into Brooklyn. Because what I said earlier in the video, I said that if it is the will of the gods, if it is the will of the gods, which is the astrology, if the astrology says it to be, there's no way that anybody can change the outcome of what's coming now in these next 20 years. There is gonna be a, 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 a portion of the sheep that are gonna be in a hellish, hellish, hellish reality but it's not going to affect us we could even go into that hellish reality as natural men gods walking gods they're going to be in this virtual reality hellish oh my god what all these movies are trying to depict you to grow into but we we're going to be we're going to be like uh, gods of egypt you know like the movie gods of egypt we're going to be growing we're going to be healthy we're going to be eating good food um and the pyramids I was saying earlier, you're going to have papayas you're gonna, inside of your own house. You're going to have papayas. I encourage anybody interested in that. Let's, you know, fly with me, you know, fly with me. Like in the movie Avatar, I will fly with you. Let me build you something secure. Go through a detox, clean, clean up the temple. And then, and then, uh, you know, in my, in my pyramid biodome, I'm going to, I'm going to wake up in the morning like, oh. Have you ever tasted a real grape? Because I don't know if anybody really has. A real grape that's organic heirloom. They are unbelievable. They are unbelievable. You wake up in the morning, right out of bed, you have grapes growing right by your bed. You're still in the dark, but you know, you open up the shade, you open up the shades, and it's a greenhouse basically you're living in. And then you have sun in there. In the wintertime, you have no heat problems. It stays springtime all the time. Please go into contract with me. Let me build you one of these. I need the money. I have 30 bucks in my pocket. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I'm not gonna have a problem. I'm just this is all recorded. So so it means that it had to happen that I had to be broke. So everybody here and everybody in the world and for generations to come, because this is big, and for generations to come is going to hear this and you'll be like, I look at this, look at this man. This he he kept doing what he was doing, pushing, you know. And uh, now see where when these cell phones come in, the reason why I have this waiting room is because of this. Last time. It was the cell phones that were causing the problem. So now I already trust everybody in here, right? So now I want to talk to this person before anything. So I'm gonna admit him and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to them. Okay. Quick question. Have you filled out a form 56 yet? Give me one moment, Give me one moment Lisa. Oh uh, hey 901, how you doing? Uh welcome. Hey, area code 901, welcome. How you doing? Could you just say hey, hello? Hey, hey what's good. going on, man? Oh, brother. All right, welcome, welcome. You know, uh, you know, I'm not sure if we've spoken or anything, but last week we, I got attacked by these haters, so I, I, I did change some settings on the um, uh, Zoom, and I made it into a waiting room, and I, I wanted it because a lot of the, some of the people that were causing that were coming from cell phones, so I said. Any cell phone comes in, I'm going to speak to them right away. Everybody else here, I pretty much, they've been on a couple of the calls. So uh, welcome. Right now, I've, went, I've been through a whole presentation. Let me see, uh, two hours and 21 minutes we've been on. So, um, you know, we talked about a lot of important stuff. And now Lisa was going to ask a question. So as soon as she's done, you can, you have the ability to mute. If there's something you want to say, uh, you know, right now as you're coming in, you could. Otherwise, we'll let Lisa ask your question. All right, now since you're gonna deal with the IRS, have you filled out a form 56 yet? No. no. You can't deal with them until you fill out a form 56. That's per the IRS. All right. Yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. It's definitely on my bucket list. You know, it's just that right now I'm focused and 56 is not a part of it right now. 
I, I know exactly what I'm doing and I should lay it out. I just, I mean, if I could find it, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'm doing about 10 documents urgently. That's it. I'm doing, I, I can name it. 56 is one of the first things you do complete. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's correct. Darius won't even talk to you. You're not a living being until you pull up 56. You're right. All right, see, I'm going to make notes. I got two people. That means it must be I important. actually know the format and how to do it because I've done a few of them. And they're a lot different than what they were 15 years ago. Let's bring up Form 56 on the internet. Yes, it's not a hard form. You can actually do a lot of this stuff online now. By the what way, you, mm -hmm. go ahead. What? What'd you say? What'd you say, Lisa? I'm saying even if you do the 456 and turn in your social security number, you're not giving up anything. You're just taking a different level of citizenship, not of the US, but of the world. There's a difference. So you would not okay. leave your kids behind or anything because that's what the Indian tribes are doing. They I, are want, I want you to, because you, you speak so quickly. I'm looking at this form. I want you to say it, but I want to just read this. It's a notice concerning fiduciary relationship between whom? Between you, the living man, and the uh, straw man? Yeah. Straw man. Okay. You may use form 56 to provide notification to the IRS of the, I thought you don't deal with the IRS. <laughs> you have to, to release every, your, your um, savings account, say, hold for you. What, what, the savings account, what? They actually hold, your social security number is tied to 10 different accounts. Mm -hmm. Let's make a major amount of money on the stock exchange right now. Okay, provide notification to the IRS to, of the creation or termination of a fiduciary relationship under section 6903, give notice of qualification on this. Okay, good. All right, so then I'm gonna stop share and then I'm back over here with you. So yeah, I, I mean, it's definitely on my list of things to do. Uh, I, you know, like I have a long list of hundred items, but right now I'm focused on a couple of items and I'll put, I'll put that in, I'll put that in. I don't have the list. It would have been better for me to have the list because I was ranting on a, a couple of other things, but I, I, I you know, that's the presentation I had to go over a couple of those things. And, you know, basically r right now I'm trying to get all my documents together and, you know, I want to send them to get them recorded at my county. My county wasn't cooperating. So I have to write a letter kind of almost like threatening, but I wanted to have, I wanted to have my legal notice and demand registered, trademarked and copyrighted. And there's a way to do it. Believe it or not, I'm meeting with a lawyer on Tuesday because I am not like anybody else. I want to use the system. I want to use the system. I'm going to have a staff of lawyers. I'm going to have a staff of accountants. Like If you, if you go further, you're not going to want all those lawyers. Those lawyers are not going to work in your advantage. They're going to work against you, whether you pay them or not. They work for the courts, not for you. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, yeah, but what about corporations? I'm not, I'm not abandoning, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, I'm a builder. I, even though I'm gonna be doing native international tribal stuff that are internationally independent from the system, I'm gonna, because there's people that I love that are in the system and um, I don't wanna, have to leave them. yeah, I, 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 yeah, I understand. So whether, why not help them? I'm, I'm going to help them. Help them if you're staying in the system. What? You say you get out of the system, you can help them a lot more than you can staying in it. Because you have a yeah, lot more. I'm not going to be, I'm not gonna be in the system. I'm going to have a foot in the system. That's all. I'm going to have one foot in, one foot out. I'm going to, I'm a dancer, baby. That's, I'm a dancer. That's not against you because the UCC codes, by, what you get the UCC codes, I'm just quoting what the information says. The UCC codes keep you, they can control you. You can't get rid of their control if you're one foot in they, one and one foot in the other. No, they can't control me. They can't touch me. They can't touch me because, because I have layers, layers of protection. I'm gonna have I'm gonna have layers of protection. Many of my documents I'm gonna have from straw man to to uh you know to upper lower 
to the natural man, from the natural man, then to the trust, from the trust to a, a fourth identity, change my name. Then from that, I'm going to be ghost protocol. So I'm going to have a fifth identity. So when I come in, if anybody, go ahead. Lawyers should not really be being used by us though. Not lawyers. We're our own lawyers. What? Of course, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm a lawman. I, that's the way I say it usually. I'm just saying that I, okay, then maybe I'm wrong. I'm just saying. I'm, yeah, you don't want to hire you, you, you don't want to hire any any uh, lawyers like you like you yourself could appoint yourself or you know somebody that's close to you that doesn't have a bar card as your private attorney general. That's yes. how you should want to come I in. Got, no, of course I know that. The only reason why I'm going to the lawyer is because I want to see how he does the administrative procedure. I want to see how he does it. What? Nine times out of ten, most lawyers don't really know this type of procedure. Yeah, all, exactly. I, all I care about. All I then, care about. Go ahead. And then one one other thing I heard you guys talking about the uh, 56. One way you could skin that cat is after you get your 98 number and you administer your estate, you can appoint the secretary. The uh, the uh, secretary of, of state or the, uh, uh, the uh, treasury as your fiduciary after you get your green card. Yeah. Uh, so, the only reason why I'm, I'm doing that to, go ahead. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Green card. Say, say again, I can't hear you. I was asking, what's the green card? The green card is what you get when you fill out the uh, uh, your uh, treasury pack and you, you like send everything in, then you get it back. So that okay. means that like, you 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 pretty much finish the procedure. Like after you get your uh, birth certificate, um, um, a positive verification card. At the, uh, for, for, um, federal level, you will get all the um, whole harmless enemy agreement, a private uh, agreement, you put everything in that pack, you want to send it off, I think you send it off to, uh, you send it off to maybe three places, or maybe two, you can send it off to uh, Puerto Rico, and I believe to um, DC, and then you uh, get your green card. I'm, I'm trying to bring up an image of it, but I I can't see it. It's basically when you send a you know registered mail return receipt. It's a green card. Oh, I can do it right here. Yeah, look. Right. Registered mail return receipt. Return receipt. I probably have it in my bookmarks. This right here. Right. I mean, yep. I, I have it. I mean, why would you, you basically you send a package? You send a package of certain documents and. Um, Yep. And to the United States Treasury in Puerto Rico and to the Treasury in Washington, D.C. And then yep. you, when you send them in and then you get this back, you know, you get this back, that's going to be your, your deposit, your safe, your deposit receipt that you deposited a bond uh, and opened up a business, uh, an account, uh, a personal account in your name. I can go over all that. I just didn't have that prepared next time because right now i'm I, i'm even a little like tired i could do it if you guys have the time i mean let me just see it's just that um so um may i say something real quick because we were talking about the receipts and you said you didn't think it was worth it what what what, what wasn't worth it the receipts the return on it yes when we talk about over the phone no no oh well the reason why i said that is because yeah. it's easier for me to do commerce with with you, for example, uh, if if uh, you could do that, sure. I'm just I did it all my life and I gave it up because I got so, I, I it's like so distracting. It's like you gotta keep a receipt, you gotta keep this, put it over here, put it over there, uh, and uh, so That's basically, what? It's not a big deal. You're saying? No, it is actually because I was listening to Patrick. I know he's someone that you don't listen to much. But I was listening to a video and I've only got not even 20 minutes through it and I've already got so many notes on it. 
when you turn the receipts and you don't turn them into the IRS, you get what it says on there. When you turn it into the Federal Reserve, you get more money than what the receipt says on it. But not only that, you take it to the federal court because most courts won't handle it because they're too bogged down with cases. You take it in there, you walk into receipts, you become a, a treasury agent guy person. So you change your status. So you bump yourself way up over just doing the receipts alone, put you in a different status. You can actually, this is a quick way of getting your social security accounts paid to directly. By turning the receipts in, you gotta have a library certificate, turn it in, they will turn around and point you, or you actually can request all of your, you wanna give up your social security number, they will give you all your accounts and all the money that's in them. So look, this is it. This is the position I'm in. And what it is, is we, right? This is what I'm doing. I'm laying down, I, what, what I'm doing right now is I understand once, once a person wakes up into this information, right? They wake up into this information, they find themselves woke. They just woke up. They can't believe where they are. But in the process of them getting woke, they pretty much either lose this, lose their house, lose their wife or something like that because it's, it's their divine timing to, for that to happen in order for them to get thrusted into waking up, basically, because... Your destiny is, is like, uh, your higher self is like, uh, come on now, are you really are you really gonna continue in that system? And it says, all right, well, you're not listening, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to give you this. Your wife leaves you, I'm gonna have to give you this. You get shot, I'm gonna have to give you this. Foreclosure, they took your car. You don't have a car. You have no place to live anymore. So now, but you're woke and you, you, you know, you kind of have it mapped out in your mind and just anybody but in, but let me just finish this thought. So now what I'm doing is I want to get my, I have, I have laser focus right now on getting my first pack in correctly because we don't know the new administration. They're going to be like, I don't like this. I don't like that. My documents are, uh, they have to be a hundred percent. I'm doing something different because of the circumstances, I am first, before I even get it notarized, I'm registering every document, I have a video on it. Registering every document, I have a video, that shows you how to do it. it. It doesn't damage the document in any way, and I'm not gonna go through it, register it, then I notarize it, then I uh, copyright and trademark it, I even find a way how to do it in 10 days. To copyright and trademark every single document in three different ways, as, a, as an artwork, as a literary work and as a, uh, uh, a video production and as electronic, you could do it four ways. If you have the money, do it all four ways. You get a website, I already created it. Now I'll share a screen. We're on this because I'm showing what I'm doing. And in the meantime, while I'm doing this uh, process, right? The way that I'm stubborn as hell, I'm very stubborn, I'm doing it this way because I wanna have the best documents. When I go over there, I'm gonna feel confident I'm gonna, after they get that re receipt, I'm knocking on their door. I'm knocking on their door, making an appointment. And then they're gonna be like, wow, we've never seen a, a document, you know, this perfect. Anyway, so I've even made a whole website for it. Let me just share screen just quick and then I'll unshare. I have a bookmark. You could do this, right? You don't need to make a website or anything, but I made, I made a website for everybody. It's called internationalpubliconotice.com. But you could just do a search. You could just do a search right here for um, do a, I'm gonna do, you know, if I don't have time to build that site, it's gonna be very, very simple. And then you, you just put your name right after it, you know, and say, and that's gonna be your page. And then you're gonna have your, your uh, all your documents listed there on public notice. So public notice website, website near me oh i should say suffolk county then you put in your county website suffolk county all right so there's one over here public notices suffolk county new york no that's not it no no my public notice is dot us my public latest notice is dot com so you go here, you pay them a couple bucks. I don't know how much it is. You figure it out, and then you just post your documents. Everybody's using this now. They don't. They don't do it in the newspaper anymore. There's 1,988 results right here. Le legal notice. Did we talk about the 1099? Yeah. Let me finish what I'm saying, and then I'll do that. Yep. Don't let me, I will forget. I will forget. 
No, 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 1099 because yeah, it's leading up to it. It's leading, okay, <laughs> it's leading up to it. So now, so now once I do these documents, they're going to be perfect. I'm going to have my uh, a brand new fresh account that I'm creating. I can show you what that looks like. Um, here, let me, let me, let me show you. It's going to take me a little while because it, it goes very slow with, uh, with Zoom. But it's important. Oh, this is not it. I changed it. I have to, I only have the newer version on my, on my, let me see if I have it on this too. See, I don't have this, but right here, I changed this. I'm going to change this right now. If you guys can see my screen, uh, I changed this to, on my master file, I changed this to, um, uh, wait, I don't want to take that number away. International, right? No. Uh, postal treasury account number. Okay, international, USPS, caps, USPS, registered, postal, treasury, account number. This is where all my documents are gonna have on the top now. Postal treasury account number. And I'm gonna do this. And I put it like this now. Perfect. Uh, oops, oops. Uh, how it didn't, really it didn't sit. Okay, I know what to do. No, I don't want to mess with that. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What? I can't get this US of I'm going to have to, I'm just, just for now, I'm going to bring it, make it smaller quick. Okay. And that's it. So basically is a header, international USPS registered postal treasury account number because you're making a, an account, a postal treasury account number. And what's the amount? 500 billion. It's $500 billion account. That's gonna be your new account. That there's, it's got no, nothing. It's, it's fresh and brand new. And uh, so now getting those documents and then, um, but in the meantime, the reason why I'm, I'm, I made this channel is to kind of even investigate all the ways that you could make money in the meantime. Earlier in the video, I showed how you could possibly make money being a, a bail bondsman or a bond uh, a bondsman where you can you can sell bonds to, you know, you can get people out of jail with the bonds because you could create the bonds. Once you have them, as soon as you send this pack in, you could do that. But it's better to just go straight to the 1099s. So... Now we can go through the, you know, we could talk about the 1099s because the 1099, that's the next step. Is it? Yes, the go ahead. United, you have to pour, pull out a form 56 or they won't even acknowledge them. IRS. Okay. IRS. All right, good. good. You know, same time. So, same time. I'm going to, I'm going to attack the whole 1099s that I have to have a fresh brain. I cannot do that. I can't even I could discuss it like, but without having my first pack in, I cannot, I can't, I can't investigate that and then do this. So I'm only doing everything that's involved with the first treasury pack. That's why the title of this is, is first treasury pack discussion group. Let me see if there's anything in the chat. Well, you want to know what's quick to make money. The receipts are. How do you make it quick? And you, have you, have you gotten any, any cash out? Cause I, um, I, I don't want to be stubborn on this guy. I need money. 
So how do I do it? No, I have actually, you do it through the court system. It's I go one big court out. You go through the federal court. In this case, Florida, we definitely can't use regular court. Just take that, please. That you take it to federal court, you become a um, prosecuting attorney, initiator, prosecuting attorney, uh -huh. and you have to become your own lawyer, basically. You turn the receipts in, they have to pay you then and there. Can you, can you, um, can we, can you work with me and uh, you could do a video on it and then I could post it on my channel and we could do it together? Yeah, I'm working. Down. It's a long video and he's got a lot of information on there. That's why I was texting you. I want to see you do it. I don't want to see anybody else, what everybody else said. You're my point contact on that project. If mm -hmm. I want you to do it and I want you to show us how to do it so it could benefit, it could benefit humanity and everybody on this call. I want, I want you to do it. I want to see you doing it. That's it, because I, I, I've done with research right now. I'm not researching anything. I'm just taking what I took, what I learned. I watched so many videos that my brain is about to explode. So the only thing I'm focused on is the secure party creditor process by Karen, JP, obviously they say PJ, uh, Polinsky, and uh, what's her name, and uh, Laurel, and that group. I watched every one of those videos. If anybody on this call hasn't, um, I would love to play because now I have the video uh, booster. Uh, I, I could play a little bit right now of PJ, his last video that did not did not make it to YouTube. It's not on YouTube anywhere. This is where he gets out where he goes ghost. And he made a last video and he says it this is my last video. I'm gone. I'm done. And he's on. He's learning how uh, how Wall Street operates because he knows that's the only way to do it. He's doing his job. I'm doing my job. I know. Uh, who I am and I uh, what tools I have at my um, at my availability right now. So I'm focusing on my job and this is my job right now. Assisting everybody to get a first pack in. So this way we could be, we could be you know, uh, I, I, this I would love to play. This way we could we could kind of have a team on a, on a team uh, group level, we can have a break. Can I ask, has anybody sent their first pack out uh, in this group? No. I, I got some of the, uh, I got the, the pack. You got the Could you repeat? Okay, could you repeat that please, 901? I said, I got, uh, I had got it from some guy named Radiant Clone. It'd be on YouTube. I had bought the zip file that he got. And uh, Pedo, PJ, uh, I got all this stuff in the, in the, in the package. Right. But uh, have you have you sent it out yet or you're still working I, on it or you haven't started working on it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still working on it. Okay, good. I ain't all right, done that yet. Well, you're, on the, you're definitely on the but path. I don't, I don't I don't know the same thing uh, you got or uh, y'all discuss. See, I, I, I you know, know I'm not. Sure. I know you're on a cell phone, but I, I can't hear you, and I would love to hear you uh, well. I'm not sure if you could just speak a little louder, maybe, or f get better reception, because I want to understand you, brother. I said, uh, I don't know if it's the uh, trust package that you speaking on. I'm doing same, I'm doing the one. same exact one. I'm doing the same exact one as Pedo Lita did. As 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 PJ okay. and them, I'm following their lead. I'm gonna share this right now. So let me share a screen. Can you you're on the phone, so you can't see my screen, right? 901? Right. I can't see the screen. I was just trying to log in and one day. Let, let me just let me just direct you. Inside of your inside of that drive that you have access to, you you're going to find a video called, oh, actually, you can just go to YouTube. Go to YouTube and find a video called Instructions by Karen on the Radiant Clone. You go to the Radiant Clone YouTube channel, you do a search in, inside of that channel, and you do Instructions by Karen. I'm following exactly what she did, but the only difference is I can play right now a little bit of, of, of PJ's last video where he says you do not need uh all those documents to be able to do 1099 all i want to do is do 1099s right now once i recover and i had a, a year off and then you know i i can you know get me like situated then of course continuously 
I, I could, but um, let me just, okay. So then um, let me I'll play that. The video that a PJ says you, you you don't have to do all those forms to do from 10 to 9. Which video is that? And that's the problem. Was, that a, was that a question, Cody? Correct. Yes, I'm going to show what you do right now. It's okay. uh, You have access to the drive. That yeah. drive, I have it privately. I have it privately on my YouTube channel, the whole video. Oh, privately, I'm not sharing that, but I can share snippets of it, you know, um, because I don't want to just put the whole thing out because, you know, it's uh, the reason why it's not on YouTube. I thought it was because of he's got a lot of information. The reason why is because he had 10 copyright strikes on it because he was playing music because he was happy. He was happy. He was having a couple of beers and he was he was playing music and it's got 10 it's got 10 copyright strikes on it. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up, but right now I'm going to play a little bit of it, but it's going to take me like a minute to find it. And, and I have my video encoder, so we should all be able to hear it clearly. It might be like that portion is about 10 minutes long. So give me a minute. I just got to find, because I know I have it wrote, written down exactly where, where it is. So I'm going to walk away for a second. Okay, I'm back. It's at 47 minutes. I have a notepad just for this video. Simple. I'm not, I didn't overdo it. That will get your green card back. Okay, and that will get so so he's this is the end of the conversation. So now I'm gonna go and find the beginning of the conversation. Can everybody hear this? Yeah. Good. So basically, this is going to save us some time because all this is all we need. You don't even need an estate number. You don't even need a 98. You don't even need nothing. All in it the is. File, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm no, in no, the no. file, in the master file, what is this video titled? It's titled, it's right here, right now. If you can see the top of the screen, it's titled uh, PJ. Oh, you're not, you're, you, you, you are not screen sharing. I'm not screen sharing. Give me I one second. Let me see. Oh, shoot. Thanks. Uh, um, wait, let me just make sure Lisa, um, this, I muted her. She was making, just to let you know, Lisa, I don't wanna, I don't wanna keep you muted. So you could talk if you want. I'm muted. Okay. So, uh, all right, anyway, let me see, screen share. All right. It's called Pedo Lita. I'll, I'll just show you. Yeah, let me show you where it is in the file. But I'm gonna, if you hit me up privately, I can give you a link to watch it on YouTube if you want. Otherwise you can download it right over there. Here, let me just, uh, I'm just gonna open up a new window. Uh, master class. Oh, I'm logged in with a different, uh -uh. I'm I have to do it as a private window because I'm already logged in. You know what? I'm not even opening it up. It's easy. You you know where it is. It's in PJ files. And then you go to the videos and it's called Pedo Lita class 0607. I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to put it in the chat. Um, or it's it's Pedo Lita, Pedo Lita class 06, meaning June 7th, 2020. He did it last year. He's, he's uh, so that's it. 
you watch that. Otherwise, hit me up privately and then I can give you a link. You can watch it right off the, off the YouTube channel. But I would need to know who you are first. So you have to fill out that thing that I mentioned earlier, like, you know, name and stuff like that. Uh, phone number. You, you send me an email. I'm interested to, to be in this private group. All right. Now, let me find out where the beginning of this is. This is this looks like a UCC one. Yeah, it's a UCC financing statement. This is it. He even he, this video is so. Okay, juicy. Can I say I something real quick? Yes, Lisa, go UCC ahead. UCC codes, UCC codes is going to get you in jail because that's how people get arrested. Is fighting the UCC. You can't fight the UCC. Uh, I'm just using. I'm using the UCC. I'm using the UCC in, in this process. What what uh, you know? Uh, and who states that? Patrick Devine, right? Yep. Yep. I he says a lot of stuff. He says a lot of stuff, and that's his. He got process. out of the system. and got his trillions of dollars. Yeah, and he also died because he was inside of a house that had metal roofing over it. And if if I was connected okay. to him, no, 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 no. He died because he was in the Navy. He was he caught leukemia from being in the Navy. He was a stockbroker afterwards. And then he died. He made sure his mother was taken care of and his whole thing. He owned a huge ranch in Iowa. His mother got a house. He had the he was the first one that actually got a car through the 1099A, but she you have to do it for him 56. Okay. He got his four, and there's other things. He has 200 videos for understand. You cannot yes. watch all 200. I, I can't. Like, I'll watch him this winter, maybe. I'll watch him this winter, but I feel confident. I feel confident about somebody who's already made it. There's an entire group of people that have already made it through a process called the secure party creditor process. That involves a UCC. So that's what we're talking about. That's what this is titled. If if you want, like I, I accept your I, you know, I invite constructive criticism, but uh, that's all I'm going to say. I invite it. So just continue constructively criticizing this process. Yeah, Let me this just, process it is like a, a million ways to skin a cat. You know what I mean? There you so go. like, so there you you go. Know, like yeah. they, and they have so many different, you know, I guess gurus from Gene to Patrick to you know Yusuf. So and like all all of these people have had success doing it their way. Yes. I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I've been in every one of those groups. Like, I've been in every one of those uh, groups uh, and kind of, uh, you know, I went through and I just, I, I I had the need of physical, I need to physical somebody, I need to see somebody physically take it and do it. Physically take it and do it. That's the only group that I saw that they've physically taken it in videos and they've done it. And this is the evidence, you know, which we're going to see right now. So let's watch this. I'm going to mute everybody because I'm hearing background noise. Raise your hand because I'll have the chat, but we're going to watch. It's about 15, 20 minutes. I mean, this is so juicy. This is so juicy. Let me see where is the participants here. Uh, I'm going to mute everybody, but anybody could put up their hand if they want to talk. Or maybe I should just mute Lisa. Okay, no. A everybody can unmute themselves or allow participants to unmute themselves, yes. Everybody's muted, but you can unmute yourself. I did that because there's some noise coming from Lisa. Um, so now. Teach you how to tender your money, teach you how to deposit it, who to send it to, so can get and build 19 through your account for your birthday. <laughs> this is what the, I can't. For your I can't account use. for your birth certificate. I'll show you how to do that through Fidelity. Um, there's that cryptocurrency stuff. How to get We're going to watch 15 from, we're gonna watch it from the beginning to there. We'll go over the donations. Not to the reason why I've been away. Let me see. Let me share this. We're going to watch this, guys. Okay. I'm, I'm going to turn my AC off so there's no noise. So we'll go over the uh, setting up the trust first. Just a quick review. Um, 
just a quick, quick review. It's going to take about 10 minutes. So 1666, they set up a Sestiki V Trust. And up until 1933, the way that they created the trust for everybody being born was through a birth certificate and a social security trust. I know how to sell your birth certificates. I know how to tap into the trust. I know how to look into the QCIPs, uh, the dividend payments, all that stuff. The reason why I've been away for so long is because they had me training for the security industry stuff. And then uh, the, latest, the latest stuff is that cryptocurrency stuff, as you guys know. Um, I'm with a bunch of great groups that are doing major, major things. I've been getting a bunch of emails with a lot of people having a lot of success. And that's gonna be annoying. Can I just ask, can somebody just confirm, does the audio, cause I raised up my volume a lot cause I wanna hear this. Um, can, does the audio sound funny or is it clear what PJ saying? Or does it sound muffled or anything? Sounds clear to me. Sounds good. Thank you, Moose. A lot of people have been having a lot of success under the Trump regime. Um, Trump's been kicking ass. We'll go over the donation. It's not to it's not to Donald Trump. It's the Republican National Committee. If you send it in the correct time frame, there is a chance that all all of us can get invited to the White House or maybe a plaque done. What you're donating to is, you know, the protection of children, getting rid of the FDA approved medicines. Um, the military should start seeking out kinesiologists. Um, there's advanced technologies that will be coming forward through the uh, healing centers that we're building. Um, but anyways, all right, let's get everybody free, paid, teach you how to tender your money, teach you how to deposit it, who to send it to, why. We'll go. Okay. So the first, your first document that you're always going to do is your security agreement. Now I'm going to explain to you how many different security agreements you're going to be doing. Now you always start off up here. Uh, either the secure party or the debtor, doesn't matter. You're making the distinguishment of there's a dead person, a trade name, a business, a corporation. And then up here, let me see, do let me edit. Does everything on the laptop. 24, 25, 25A. The Miller Act bonds, 273, 274, 275, those are all your court bonds. That's your Miller Act. These are all the bonds we're going to down here. Does that I don't know why this computer doesn't let me edit my word on here. It does everything on the laptop, though. These are all the bonds. We're gonna, I'm gonna teach you guys how to fill out standard form 24, 25, 25A, the Miller Act. Those are the performance bonds that I was telling you that you can, uh, you need for court, um, you know, to, to start a court case in, you know, federal district court. They're basically performance bond, payment bond, and I should say bid bond, performance bond, and payment bond. It took me a while to remember those. And then you could use those for, um, to, to be a bail bondsman and make some money. I just don't have the time to do it, but if anybody has the time to research that, we could all make a little chump change until we do our 1099s. Bonds 273, 274, 275, those are all your court bonds. That's your Miller Act bonds for federal court. Okay. 
Okay. So up here, there's your dead person, Peter Joseph Polinski. That's your all cat name. At the time, I used the suite address, the P.O. box. You want a P.O. box because you want to distinguish a place of business, and then you don't ever want mail where you rest your head. If they send it where you rest your head, that's considered frauds and swindles. No, there no, there's no bill collectors after today. Everything is going to be shut down. All your bills will be discharged, show you how to get rid of everything, get all your money back. But you, your first document you always start off with is your security agreement, your secure party. Now, most people get, you know, conflicted with showing an upper and lower case name to represent a living man. That's all it's doing is representing a living person. It's not you. you no, know, none of these names are you. Upper, lower case, still not you. All cat name, that's a dead person. Corpse, corporation, tombstones, all cat name is dead. All right. And I didn't do the whole security agreement for the court case, but then it gets into a fidelity bond in there. You just put your all cat name in there. Everybody knows the stuff. It's all on scribe. I'm just going through it quick. Now, any property you have, Schedule A goes, it goes on your Schedule A, your property list. So if that be your meets and bounds to your property, um, if you claim the property or house, um, it would put on a deed of trust that goes behind your promissory note. We'll get into it. Uh, you would put your common law copyright on here. You would put your any kind of registered mail numbers that you have. Your registered mail numbers are trust property. Now, this is just your first security agreement for your social security number. You're, you're going to see that to add layers of protection, what I have done is I've made a security agreement for my estate EIN, it's my 82, my foreign grant. This is what I was telling you before, whoever was watching the whole video that we made, remember I told you about stacking those identities like pancakes? This is where, this is what that is. Uh, so look at what he's saying now, you know? Church. Layers of protection, mail numbers are trust property. Now this is just your first security agreement for your social security number. You're, you're gonna see that to add layers of protection, what I have done is I've made a security agreement for my estate EIN, which is my 82, my foreign grantor trust EIN, which is my 98, and I made one for my private, found, the, private uh, the foundation, tax exempt foundation. So I did all new security agreements for those. Then I went back and I went back and I did the social again and I made the creditor the all cap organizations. So that's just how you add layers of protection, all non-UCCs. So you'll go through a security agreement for your social, the debtor is blah, blah, blah. And the creditor will be last name, first name, middle, or the colon. Um, passport numbers, license numbers, my social security card, the number, the routing numbers on the back of the social, your birth certificate number, everything goes on the schedule A, it's your trust property, your vehicles, VIN, you know, VIN numbers, year, make, model, any kind of promissory notes you've created, they register mail numbers, they all go on here, and if you have your registered mail numbers, my last UCC one that I filed showed the straw man with the social as the debtor, and my 98 number as an organization as the creditor. I'll go, I'll show you how I fill it out right after this. Here's your indemnity bond that makes you indemnified. This is your part of your insurance. We'll get into full insurance with the Silver Surety Act and the Silver Surety Bond. That insurance bond will cover your businesses, cars, house, um, medical bills. Every set off for it doesn't matter if you're in a foreclosure, a foreclosure, if you have a tax lien, if you have, if you owe a bank, if you owe. Let me just show you something one second. Um let me just show you over here how how i did the section the schedule a oh it doesn't show it on here which one did i do it on i have a different one that i have it stacked up over here which how come that's not in here all right well i guess i'll have to find it later let me just see what else i have open oh maybe it was my legal notice of the event which one is this Oh, this is mine. I can't. Let me just see if it's if it's if there's some type of a schedule A on here. Property list. Nope, those are the definitions. I get. I guess 
too bad because I would have liked it. I had those, it's two full legal pages of, of, of a property list. All my birth certificates, I just can't produce it right now because I, I don't want to be searching files. So back to this, sorry. For water, ski, whatever, whatever you own, it's going to be gone. I'm get rid of it. And I have the proof and I'll show you my dish. What was that? Yeah. Car indemnified. This is your part of your 98 number as an organization, as the creditor. I'll go, I'll show you how I fill it out right after this. Here's your indemnity bond that makes you indemnified. This is your part of your insurance. We'll get into full insurance with the Silver Surety Act and the Silver Surety Bond. That insurance bond will cover your businesses, car. Listen closely. This is what I was talking about, about those. This is where I got that from. You know, um, the silver, uh, the one ounce silver, you get 22 of those, you make a silver surety bond. That can discharge billion dollars, billions of dollars worth of debt. Let's listen to it again. Cars, house, this letter, and my 98 number as an organization, as the creditor. I'll go, I'll show you how I fill it out right after this. Here's your indemnity bond that makes you indemnified. This is your part of your insurance. We'll get into full insurance with the Silver Surety Act and the Silver Surety Bond. That insurance bond will cover your businesses, cars, house, um, medical bills. Every set off for, it doesn't matter if you're in a, forecla a foreclosure, if you have a tax lien, if you have, if you owe bank, if you owe for water, ski, whatever, whatever you owe, it's gonna be gone, we'll get rid of it. And I have the proof and I'll show you my discharges. I have to skip a page though, because I can't show you one thing because I promised I want to show one thing, but you'll get, you'll understand it, so don't worry. Okay, then you just finish with your notice of lien. There's your security agreement, okay? You do your common law copyright notice. Now, the only thing different that you add from doing this is we'll get into it. I'll show you how we'll go through it as you do a U.S., the copyright, the USPTO, and the trademark. And when I went over it in class, I said, what did I say? What That's like one of my key things is, and I got it from PJ right here, is I found a way. It takes four months. I found a way how to do it in 10 days by, by paying $800. Um, the only thing is, is if they don't ex accept it, because it has to be like a, a, mat, a, 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 a urgent matter, you you sue somebody. You have a, co a, a court case, take anybody that violated you, your legal notice to the man, take them to court. That's why I'm going to the lawyer. So, you know, uh, I know nobody uses lawyers because I'm a lawman myself, but you know what? I'm going to use the system for what it's for, for, for what it's best at. And this guy was a sleazy lawyer. I want to I want to see how a sleazy lawyer operates because I don't mind giving them 30%. Let give him 30% and let him collect my money. I don't mind. I'm operating in Babylon. I'm different from everybody else. I'm going to use everything that Babylon has to get me out of the system. And then I'll have one foot in, one foot out. Anyway. And then you want to get it to, you want to get a certificate from the Library of Congress. That's the highest recording that you can possibly get any recordings at Library of Congress. Zim goes over that in his classes. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to fill a UCC one properly. Real fast, what I did, how you add layers of the protection. So you can go to your state, wherever state, these aren't hard to fill out. They're pretty much all the same, but I file everybody's in New York. They all go through. The international one, I believe, is in Maryland. That's the one I use, the Maryland one. And uh, it's it even accepts your international address, United States minor outlying islands, and all and everything. Oops. Whereas New York doesn't. So I just type in e-file. I go to New York, and then we're just gonna do a quick financing statement. Up here, all I do is just the organ. I'm gonna speed through this because uh, I have a video of it that's uh, very, very thorough and detailed. The only thing is I made it private. I only made a snippet, which is 20, like 10 minutes long, but I have one that's an hour long. It's thorough. Organization name, all cat, whatever. Uh, the entries clear. 
I'm throwing phone in the You go watch it yourself. Look at something like. Okay, I'm with a group that has gold backed cryptocurrency. So what I'm learning now is because through our, you know, crowdfunding portals and yada yada, that's what I'm learning. So Bank of America um, was listed as the debtor. That was one of her credit cards. I got rid of three credit cards and mortgage and car payment. So this is this is important. This is how he uses the silver certificate. Look at this, everybody. This is an actual and constructive notice of an agricultural lien in the form of a carrier's lien. New York, New York, UCC 7-307-7-308 McKinney 2008. Warehouseman's lien number, uh, New York UCC subsection 7-209-7-211 McKinney 2008 in the amount of 100 million. He used $100 million for check numbers 1017 in the amount negative 183,000. This is for a loan. This is for a loan. Negative 183,300. So she basically, he that was Vanessa Hook was his girlfriend or his wife. This was the home loan. And he basically squashed it with right here. Registered under RF, he made something called a, he's going to go over it, but he's, he made something called a asset-backed secured transaction. An asset-backed, a silver certificate asset-backed. He basically wrote out a, a negative check that with a registered mail number on it and a silver surety bond um, backed, asset-backed, tendered payment. Look. He put it, this is his own serial number that I showed you on those dollar bills before he made this and it shows up on a dollar bill that he gets. He even says, I shouldn't have showed you that. Oops, you know, because they, because they, they, you know, you, I'm sure that once you're, once he merged with, he's going to say it in his video, he merged with the St. Louis Federal Reserve and he, uh, they definitely make you do a, a non disclosure agreement. That's another reason why he's, he can't share anymore. We just got to share up until we get to that point, And then we're going to be ghosts. And then nobody, you know, everybody's going to have this archive. The actual constructive notice of an agriculture lien in the form of a carrier's lien, houseman lien, da, 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 in the amount of 100 million for check number, yada, yada. And it was for the negative amount registered. And then I created a one gram silver bullion. And I created a serial number on the back of the bullion. We'll get into it though. Can't be showing it all. So that's my UCC ones, simple enough. And I'm I'm gonna be uploading every all the all my documents are being scanned in because they're all finished now. So I, you guys have all my examples. Um, and like I said, everything I've gotten was from off scribe, so they're all up there. Okay. Then you go to your BC bond order, which is the blue border. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. And this is why you got to start 
writing down all your registered mail numbers because those are all of the checks you're writing that are registered, those are all securities. I'm gonna show you how to broker them, cancel the debt, All right, come on. Okay, cool. All right, so this is, they'll have a blue border on here. That's all you guys know what I'm talking about. And you have the, your one guy, you're the principal. So this would be the last name. Come on, you bullshit. Issue date, whenever date you're filling out the document, the bond number becomes your registered mail number. So keep your registered mail number. I put Mnuchin down here. I hit the treasurer up, the Francisco uh, Perales Alicias. Um, that's the treasurer. The secretary of the treasury is Mnuchin. The treasurer is the guy's down in Puerto Rico. Jovita, she's not there anymore. It's Francisco uh, uh, Perales Alicias. And see, it shows your upper lower, it shows you how to fill it out, Re register mail number, there you go. And then remember, whenever you see the social security number, go on the back of your social security card and put the bond number. That's your exemption, that's the private side. That's what's attached to the Federal Reserve. And that's where all the money comes from once you attach your treasury account to your Federal Reserve. And that's the merger. Okay, then you do your indemnity bond. I missed that part. I want to just catch it because I'm doing some other work over here since I watched this three times. Oh, come on. I messed it up. It's not playing. The bond number that's your exemption that's the private number there you go and then remember whenever you see the social security number go on the back of your social security card and put the bond number that's your exemption that's the private side that's what's attached to the federal reserve and that's where all the money comes from once you attach your treasury account to your federal reserve that's, that's the, the treasury account. okay that's the treasury account that I, sh I showed you earlier, the U.S. Postal Treasury account number, U USPS Postal Treasury account number. Then you do your indemnity Federal Reserve. And that's where all the money comes from once you attach your treasury account to your Federal Reserve. And that's the merger. Okay, then you do your indemnity bond. Which is... The green one. I'm gonna zoom through this a bit. That we created that all these numbers on the legal notice of demand. I'll show you, show you the legal notice next. So this is just your initials. And then your UCC file number, register mail number. Uh, I did two re different register mail numbers. I did one different for the BC bond order and the $100 million IBOE. And then I did a second one just for this one by itself. Okay. You're going to do one for each EIN as well. So each EIN is insured. And then same thing, just boom. You're, I put the both of you can put both addresses down. Uh, Department of Treasury. I, I send everything to Puerto Rico and CC, Department of Treasury, uh, Secretary of Treasury. IRS commissioner, Social Security Administration commissioner, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, make sure all your numbers are the same. Other people that have the bonds, there are bonds out there that don't have sureties, that those work as well. I'm just showing you how I did it. We could also be um, sureties for each other, even though, because uh, we could send our packs in together, whoever hasn't, I would say that would be a great idea. Um, because then we could work together because you would need to have an identifying number, you know, for, for a document, you know, like the bond, because it says it right over here. So, so on one of these documents, it, it says the, the bond number, like the, when you identify this bond uh, up at the top, like the bond name, and then we would use it for the others, or we can use it with no sureties. He just said that they work as well. 
and uh, it goes down here, down here. Make sure at the bottom you have your sureties initial, and down here you have everything uh, congruent or labeled correctly. Register mail number. Same thing. Keep everything congruent. Last name, first name, middle, the house of, royal house of, noble, whatever title you're falling under. Same thing. Okay, so UCC1, security agreement, common law copyright, hold harmless indemnity agreement, power of attorney, indemnity bond. Now here's the BC bond order that I was telling you about, same thing. Then you're gonna do a 1040V. You do 1040Vs because If you haven't liquidated your social, then you would either file a 1040 NR or a 1040 until you've liquidated. Then you would file 1041s like I do, and I'll show you. Can I just get the PDF? Okay, so up here, put your social with one dash, because that's showing an EIN, that's how you recognize. But for now, if don't just leave it confused. Put your social in here. After you've liquidated 966, your 98 number goes in here. Or whatever you purchased the item with. 98, your 82, how much the amount was, negative, but for this instance, it's going to be a hundred million. First name, last name. Then you go to your 1040 ES. Oh, and do the acceptance on there and put the registered mail number on the little top of the voucher. All you have to do is figure out which market or uh, which. Uh, quarter you're in. So jump down here. So whatever date you're in, just find the date. You don't fill anything out. You just put your accepted for value on there and then send it in. Okay. And that's your treasury pack. It's simple. I'm not, I didn't overdo it. That will get your green card back. You're hearing this? This is like seven documents, maximum 10, you know, um, you could throw in a couple of quickies, you know, in there and that's it, done. That's all I want to do. And then all I want to do is I want to start doing those 1099s. That's I'm going to master those 1099s. We're going to be paid. And actually, that's the wrong way to say it. That's Babylon way to say it. What we should be saying is we're going to have, we're going to have a great power of discharging debt. Because that's the way you got to think about it. Because money doesn't exist. It's all debt notes. So when you have these sureties, these silver surety bonds, right? That's your wealth. Every dollar you make, you want to buy as much gold and silver and have it inside of your rivers on your native lands. So it'll revitalize all, everything, diamonds, gold, silver. You want to have it either in your water tower supplying water for your native lands or 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 in the river and it's going to be protected because you're going to have your tribe protecting it plus nature protects it nobody's going to be able to come in you're going to have pit bulls you're going to have whatever you want horses i'm going to have gorillas i'm going to have silverback gorillas in my tribe right on my land anybody comes around i'm going to have communication with these gorillas i want to learn and 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 you know with these i mean this is just me i'm going to have a whole zoo on my native lands so uh, that's all I want to do. So so Lisa was great. You know, she she gave her constructive criticism. She has her um, process. This is my process. All I want to do is this. I want to stack up like pancakes all my um, all my identities. I want to have that fifth identity. Then I want to have a ghost identity. So this way, when you go into court, if you haven't changed your name yet, right? Musa knows because Musa Musa has got it right on his signature pad. You got to change your name. That's not the, um, what's his name? The, um, uh, I, I forget the guy's name, Elijah Muhammad. He, right? I believe that he was the one who assisted the, the Moors with, with, with all that stuff. 
And he um, basically, he made everybody, you know, he suggested that everybody change the name. This is why, because you go into court, you know, I'll play a little bit more of this, but when you go into court, if, if you've been having trouble like I've been having, what I call it is they're not honoring your status. See, and then they put the cuffs on you. So that's happened to me in the past 10 years about, about seven times. And, and I have videos on it. They took my dog. I, ha I have videos on it. They took my work truck. They, you know, um, and, you know, it's, 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 you know why we're doing this, all right? Everyone knows that we want to, you know, we want to just heal. That's all I want to do. You know, I'll continue with this, but I'll stop sharing just for a second so I can see myself here, you know, and then I'll continue a little bit more of that and we're going to end it. But let me share with my video. I mean, first, you know, first uh, for me, my personal life and situation is like I had to go through a, a heat. First, I went through an unlearning process because you can't fill a cup that's already full, like the movie Avatar. Then you go to a, you know, the, the re-education. You got What are you going to be putting inside of your portals now? Your ears, eyes, you know, nose, mouth and, uh, you know, mind. So so you got to now re it's almost just like uh like doing gut flora you know you got to eliminate all the unhealthy bacteria and then replenish it as above so below as within so without exact thing that's happening to you the level that you are on this journey right now is happening in your body i swear to you and i guarantee it one thousand percent that is the vesuvian man that is the the, the christ reborn so when you get to this point, you know, you can you can advance rapidly, rapidly, rapidly. There is no limit. There is no limit to where you can go, where you can where you can go and who you can be with this. If you if you if you have a strong nation, if you have a strong tribe that you could sing, dance, eat together, sing together, dance together, um, bathe together, grow grow uh, food together, have dominion over the earth, just like it says in the Bible, you know, that you shall have dominion over the over the earth. And uh, so that's it. I'm going to watch in a couple, another couple of minutes. If you want, I could skip through juicy parts. Let me do it. I have them all written down here, but I'll, I'll do it. While we're playing it, I'll look for all the juicy parts, play another 10, 20 minutes, and that's it. And then I'm going to just come back here, say goodnight, let you guys say goodnight, and then, okay, no problem, Cody. Because uh, Cody had to leave, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he had to get up early tomorrow. See you guys next week. Excellent, Cody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Okay, so let me um, let me share again. And how long have we been going? Give me one second. It's got to be three hours and twenty nine minutes. Well, it's, this is work for me. This has got to be done. So it's got to be done. Okay, and now, now, now he's going to say something which I love. He says, you do not have to live in bondage anymore. This guy pumps me up, man. We'll get I you, love it. You. That's why if you look at my videos, I did a public uh, expression of gratitude to PJ, man. I really have a connection with this. I love this guy. You know, um, now we're the next phase, you know, with the, with the, uh, with the backup, like the uh, reinforcements. Now this is getting big. Not for everybody. Most people are watching Netflix you know, and, uh, and taking the vaccines. I had two, two girlfriends. I can't, I, I had to dump them. One of them got the vaccine. I thought she was somewhat similar, you know, somewhat, uh, and then she got it by telling me she didn't get it. We had sex. I had a mysterious illness for six, seven, eight, nine days. I was sick. I never, ever, ever get sick. The other girl, she's all about crystals and stuff. And then every, you know, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's either her diet or something. I get sick. She's they're both gorgeous, drop dead, perfect. Like you know, and and the sex is all good and all, and but but I I because my body is all detoxed. And that's why I go to South America. The girls uh, you can find girls that are somewhat have good health anyway. Uh, uh, your first two first steps to be protected. The last two steps is getting that copyright and trademark, uh, from. The United States Library of Congress. All right, let me see if I can pull the websites up. It's real easy. Let me pull up. I got it here. Okay. So then your next steps would be 
doing the copyright. Once you send your trust pack out, you get your estate EIN, your 98 number, that's your most important. I'll go over how to fill out the SS4. All right, so US. Right.gov. So www.copyright.gov. Um, I've been on the phone with these people. I've called them and they told me, you know, because I just asked questions. They were very, very nice. I have a, I didn't publish it, but I have a voice recording on it. So um, we're going to go through this whole process. So, you know, I mean, we could go through this, but my, my videos are detailed. I just want to hear what he's saying and skip through this. Okay, well, I had a, a link that I typed in for the username and password, and it's a real simple application. And then after that, you go there. I also got one of these from my roofing company about 12 years ago or 11 years ago, so I can show you what a copy of this looks like, because I'm gonna go to court. These guys uh, started using my company name um, they're relatives of mine, like distant, distant relatives of mine. They just said, oh man, since you're not using it, because I used to have a big company, they started using it. So I'm going to sue them and I'm going to take the court case and I'm going to, I'm going to call these people, the copyright and trademark and say, this is an urgent matter. Pay them $800. They'll do it in 10 days. Every single one of my documents, every single one of my documents, I'm going to make the money. I'm going to do it because I want them in my documents on the back of my documents before I send them in. They, the treasury is going to look at these. They're going to say, because now we got Janet Yellen in there. They could give us some friction and some, some, uh, somebody was saying that they're not accepting documents. They're going to accept my documents. And you do the trademark. And some people are saying, you don't even need to do this to do 1099s, uh, which I don't know. I want to get this pack in. Then I'm going to tackle that. That's my stubbornness. Uh, but you could seek it out if you want. You could do 1099s without even doing this. That's it. I said U.S. USPTO. Trademarks. Of course. USPTO. Okay, then just hit apply for trademark. It goes into the forms you send. So this is what I sent in. Your UCC1, your security agreement, and your common law copyright. That's it. That's all you send to them. They'll give you an email and an address to send it to. And that's it. Then you wait for your certificate of registration that you'll get from the United States Library of Congress. Okay. All right. Now that's the trust. You wait for the green card. You get your estate EIN. I can't go on uh, IRS. IRS doesn't work on Saturdays and Sundays. So I can't show you how to fill out the estate EIN, but that's easy. If you're new, just work with the people in the group. Everybody here is advanced. Okay. So now you've gotten your trust set up. With Now you've gotten the 98 number. So we'll go into the... Let me see if I can get that uh, off of the screen. There it goes. All right, so now we'll get into you have UCC1 security agreement, common law copyright, your power of attorney, your BC bond order, indemnity bond, 1040V, 1040ES, accepted for value, your cover letter, simple, mail that to the 
treasurer down in Puerto Rico. And then after that, then you start doing your copyright and your trademarks. Remember, do it as a service mark or a brand. Don't do it as an individual name. They don't allow that. And that's that gatekeeper stuff. Okay. Now, now that you have your trust set up, you have your certificate of registration. Now you're the registered registrant of that name. So now nobody can mess with that name. You're the lien holder, you're the lien creditor, you're the entitlement holder, and you're the registered registrant once you've copywritten and trademarked your name. Now you can enforce it, and I'm about to show you. So, <clears throat> all right. Now we're gonna get into a discharge. So it doesn't matter if you're in a foreclosure, um, we're gonna treat everything as like court. So it doesn't matter if you're in court, not in court, everything is tra treated the same, except that if you're not in court, you're not gonna have to do an order of removal, as you'll see. So I'll explain it. All right, step one, let's say uh, whatever, it's a bill, foreclosure, mortgage, debit card, or credit card, loan, whatever. <clears throat> Let me get some water. All right. Now, you don't have to be into the DTC. You don't need a FINS number. You don't need to be a FINRA approved broker. You don't need to be a, a private CID or treasury officer. You don't have to be any of that. You don't have to be in with the SEC. You don't have to. This is important what he's saying now, guys. Listen up. You just have to have the UCC1, your trust set up, security agreement, and that certificate of registration through the Library of Congress that your name is copywritten and trademarked. It's the highest seal, it's the highest recording place, right? All right, so here we go. You're going to want to order a one gram silver bullion. And what I did, it's in my dad's safe. I don't have the safe. So I have 10 ounces um, that I've ordered, you know, one ounce bars. And what I did was on the back of them, I bought an engraver. And all I did was say PJP AG for silver. Uh, and then 000001 all the way to, you know, make nine. And then I got a new one. Each one, zero, zero, you know, each one you do. And then all them serial numbers get added to your 98 UCC1. I'll show you. So that's one thing that you want to get done. Is you want to get a one gram, just one gram, because one penny of silver or gold, it discharges billions of dollars in the fiction. Millions of dollars. You could buy whatever you want. I'm going to show you how to make a an asset backed security through an IBOE. So what that means is we're going to create an IBOE that's registered, backed by silver, and backed by our birth certificate. And that's a tendered payment. And that's as good as gold round for International Bill of Exchange. Um, okay. So after this, after I show you this, we will not be in bondage anymore. In bondage nobody anymore. will live in sin any. I mean, well, nobody, but we won't be living in sin. You have no more debt. You go purchase whatever you want. Private bank. Get your bank recoupments because there's levels. Maybe someone doesn't want to sue the United States Corporation or have the stones to do that. You know, maybe it's not for everybody, but I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. And there's going to be people that are set up that are going to sue the shit out of the corporation. Let me just welcome this person. Can you on email with this person? Uh, KT, hi, how you doing? Welcome. Can you hear me? Okay, KT is joining in. I just want to make sure that I mute all current or new participants, allow participants to unmute themselves. Okay. Uh, KT, if you can hear me, uh, welcome. 
welcome and uh, you can unmute if you'd like, or you could just watch. We basically had a whole presentation. I'm wondering if KT, are you the um, great uh, thunder, thunder great spirit? Thunderbird great spirit? Because I've just been emailing and I just sent them a link to the, to the channel. So if you are, welcome. Anyway, we're gonna continue. We've been on for, um, am I still sharing? Oh man, I'm getting confused here. Stop share. Oh, I am sharing. Okay, uh, so I can't see how long we've been on for, but we've been on for about three three hours or so. So uh, right now we're going over some videos of uh, PJ Polinsky, his last video before he, uh, I transposed the letters, <laughs> Musa. Okay, I'm gonna continue with this, so welcome. All right, here we go. Step one, I don't care. Let me see if I let me see what I pull up, man. I can't show you everything. Man. Maybe I can. All right. Now I will show you my Bloomberg terminal. I might do it, but it slows it down so bad. I mean, I got here's the keyboard. I'm on it. I'm just one of you right now. Let me stop sharing. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see. You guys can't see me, but here's the board. Ah, there we go. My bad. So there's the the Bloomberg terminal board. Um, I'm still. Believe me, I don't even know how to work this thing. They gave me like the golden key. I don't even know how to work it. Uh, and then this is all, it's all done by fingerprints. And like at the end of class, if I can up, if I can get it going and doesn't slow everything all the way down, I do it. All right. So now, all right, so let's get into discharging, protecting the estate, private banking, uh, steps one. Okay. There's the Bloomberg terminal. Here's my invoice. Bye. -bye, -bye. First step always. Accept that contract for value, UCC Article 3-419, whatever ones you want to put up there, the public law, HJR 192. They'll say HJR 192 got, got repealed and all this other. It's, it's just in Title 31, USC Section 5118, subsection D, subsection 2. And all that is stating there's no company can come asking for us a payment in a specific coin because they took the way that we're supposed to pay out of circulation. Remember, 1933, they took all the gold and silver. So they just made promises to pay. No more. Okay, so you do your acceptance. Okay, I put my, uh, I did it on my cousin's birthday. She's an April Fool's baby. Uh, my social, which is the public account, pass through account. Okay, it not, that social, even though it dies, you liquidate it. Even if you had grandparents that died, their social security is still alive. They're still pumping through that. I mean, pumping. Okay. Now, then you come in here. Now, if you have a, a hard form or if you have a TCC number, do 40, uh, IRS form 4419 and you're in the fire program, uh, that's cool. I use both. So, but for now, uh, 1099, you're going to want to create a uh, 1099online.com account, okay? So your first step is the acceptance. We're going to be doing all of this, like, uh, within the next few weeks. The only thing is there's a different site that's more official. It's directly into the uh, to the treasury. Um, so... Da, da. Oh boy. <sighs> okay, so now you come here. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be acquiring your debt, your accounts, mortgages, uh, bank accounts. So I'll show you, so you have a, a bill. 
invoice number. Go to e-file new form. Select your tax year. 1099A. This is the first. We're doing an acquisition. We're acquiring the debt. We're taking control over it. Who's the lender? We are. Now you see my name, then you have a non-mortgage widely held fixed investment trust. And that's how you're located and found and come in, uh, in their system. Now, if you have a mortgage, it's a, it's a with it. Just take the N off, the NM off. So it'd be a widely held fixed investment trust. Lenders 10, uh, that's my social. This is where I start putting the one dash in here. But they, I mean, uh, they automatically upload it. They don't put the dashes in it and stuff like that. But when you're doing it, they want your TIN number. Just put your social security number with one dash. So mine's zero nine dash, da, 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 da. Okay. Now the borrowers, whoever you do business with, because remember, you didn't go into commerce that all cat dead man went into commerce. And they always need that social for you to get a job, open a business account, open a cell phone account. And, uh, so you come down here, whoever it was. So for instance, um, I'll show you the, the boats I bought. Come down, whatever the invoice number is. On here, they don't allow the entire thing to be written out. So down here, I put my QCIP, which is the, the, go on the back of your social, mine is H. So mine is H, so it'd be a zero eight dash and then the rest of your numbers so zero two one one five six one one and then realistically if you have a hard copy you would put a dash here and then the account number okay and i'll kind of show you an example of what i'm talking about except that M ambassador m1 has it a little bit backwards it wasn't his fault it wasn't his so again step one Come on, Walker. Finish docs. There you go. Open up. Okay. So if you have a mortgage, your 1099A will look something like this on the right hand side right here. I'll, I'll blow it up. I know I got some elderly there. Zoom on. So we have the acceptance on the contract. Now this is how we acquire the debt, the accounts. This is how we take control with the 1099A. 1099 ABCs, OIDs, run the bank and run your banking, private banking system. Again, when we get into reports over 10 grand, you know the 8300 comes out, we'll go over it. But first we're here at 1099A, if you have a mortgage, if you're in a foreclosure, the first step is 1099A, just the account number. Okay, don't even worry about an amount. Put your fair, val uh, put, just put your original promissory note amount if you want. But other than that, just do the first uh, the, the account number, the loan number, acquire that. And then, well, whatever your account number is. Okay, see how we, the lender's federal identification number, that's the social with one dash. Move this shit down. Dude. And then if you have their EIN, if you have your Edgar Access, um, if you type in the 8K report, um, their EINs usually pop up. Um, then you list the, you know, the debtor, but here it goes. So see how he has the zero six, just reverse these two, show you, show your private, uh, QCIP or your private funds going into the account number. So you're showing that it's coming from up one place and it ends in another. Are they always liable for the repayment of the debt? Yeah, they borrowed it. They used our credit. Now, whether or not you created your own promissory note with the deed of trust to purchase it, that's up to you. Probably didn't. And then you probably hired a lawyer to do that shit. 
And then they probably mad when they made themselves the beneficiaries and made themselves the trustees and all that good stuff. So you're going to have to, we're going to go into it, uh, is firing them, recording it down at the county, uh, putting everybody on notice. Uh, Brent's been successful. Brent just had his uh, deed of trust recorded that went through. That was kind of nerve wracking, but everything is up. Steve is doing his thing. A um, bunch of people are doing stuff. So then your description in the property box uh, is an asset transfer for acquisition slash purchase. So if you're buying something or um, this is what you would use if you're purchasing something. But for discharge purposes, this is what asset transfer by trustee and holder to discharge debt. And again, I'll go back to here because I'll show you online. They don't allow you to put it all in. So I abbreviate and I get the account number in over here. So I put the account number in over here online. If you have the hard copy, you can fill all this stuff in. Date it, whatever. Go back to your original loan date. Doesn't matter. Your balance, original loan amount, so, you know, a million. If they sent you a 1099A saying they acquired your account, then you send it this back, but you hit the corrected on it, showing you to be the original, you know what I mean? That you didn't leave anything abandoned. So usually they give you what they say. Original loan amount, so, you know, a million. If they sent you a 1099A saying they acquired your account, then you send it this back, but you hit the corrected on it, showing you to be the original, you know what I mean? That you didn't leave anything abandoned. So usually they give you what they say, 72 months or three years to, uh, you know, handle your books. And after that, they consider that abandoned property and they come in there and they claim it, take you out of, the deed of trust, which is already done, and that's where your foreclosure starts coming in, is they took control of your deed of trust and your promissory note. And I'm gonna show you how to get that all back. Whether you got kids taken from you, all this shit is done. It's done. The regime under Trump and them. So there's your 1099A, right? Okay, I'm gonna keep that up though. Okay. Now, the, see the this is the serial number that you're seeing, the registered mail number and the serial number. The reason why I made the serial number is because now that everything that's backing up, what you're about to see right here, is an asset back security. So this is good as gold back money or silver back money. Silverback cryptocurrency, silverback, uh, goldback cryptocurrency, but whatever, whatever you're creating, your silver surety bond and your silver bullion is your asset backing your your checks. So here's the check, negative amount, because you're balancing your books. Okay, see the how to I learned this from Dean. Uh, you put the registered mail tab right there, put it right on the security. And then as you see right here, that's where that's my serial number that I created. But I forgot to put the PJP AG in front of it. I got a little crazy with stuff. Okay. And this part uh, that doesn't, I, I kept it on what it's supposed to be there, but so you have a registered mail number and you have the serial number that you record and you add to your trust that backs up your IBOE. Okay. Stamp. This was my whole check, that's why. Usually some of them have three in one, but this was uh, Bill bought me these. And they're one at a time. Okay, then because my trust is liquidated through 966, I fill out the payment voucher, 1041V. And again, the payment voucher 
gets registered, silver number on the back. I, I leave my BC number off on it and you'll see why. And then as you see my 98 number, because this is what's attached to my Bloomberg terminal. Um, and it's okay if they ask you for your social, even when you have controlled over and liquidated it and you're just running through your 98, I still give my social. Like for Verizon, they have my social security number. You know, so it's not, it's don't be afraid to use it. It's an account number. And once you've done your security agreement and UCCs and your copyrights and trademarks, now you have something to stand on and enforce. But other than that, hard luck, man, for real. I can't show you this part. Okay. I don't want to show you because it's not correct. That's why. It's a messed up page that I had to go back and correct. Okay. Okay. See, there's my 1099A. And what I did is, see, I, this is copy B because 1099A and the 1096, they get generated automatically. Um, I just crossed it out, 2020 on there, and then I write in, see, my QCIP into the account number. That's my account number for Bloomberg. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now here's this birth certificate that I add. The birth certificate. Now it gets registered with the Boolean and the register. Um, just now, guys, I wanted, I just put it in the chat, a link to this on uh, my YouTube channel, but it's private. So you just have to request access. And then if you're in the group, you know, if I know who you are, I'll give you access. So you got the whole thing. Or you could just download it from the drive if you have access to the drive to the master's class drive and then it's it's in the pj folder and then it's the video entitled uh june 06 07 2020 of last year it's the last video and it's not on uh, the radiant clone youtube channel and then that's it i'm gonna play this for a little bit and then uh and then we'll close it up but uh this is getting juicy you know their mail number making this an a another asset back security which also backs up your ible and this is how you buy shit up. You want to buy a house? There's your IVOE, birth certificate, silver boot, which the birth certificate. Sorry. Yeah, you said he, I wasn't supposed to show you that. Okay, now here's this birth certificate that I add. The birth certificate now gets registered with the Boolean and the registered mail number, making this an a another asset back security, which also backs up your IVOE. And this is how you buy shit up. International Bill of Exchange, IBOE, International Bill of Exchange. You want to buy a house? There's your IBOE, birth certificate, silver bullion. And uh, um, UCC1 security agreement, 1099AB, you know? But you'll see. So this is uh, on the back of the birth certificate for special deposit for special purposes, for Cestic K uses, redeeming lawful money in accordance with Title 12 USC Section 411. Sign it. There's your acceptance for value. Your acceptance on the security is making it, uh, uh, the acceptance on here makes it security. Part of the registered mail number as well. I see, deposit to United States Treasury, but charge the same to my account. And I have their routing number, see their SWIFT code right here. It's a Bank of America number, but that's, I had all their information to where I wanted the money routed to after my deposit. And nobody does it for you, as you're going to see the 1099A, the B, the C, and the OID is what does that. Nobody's going to do shit for you, fam. If you think you're going to send some pack in, someone's going to be like, oh, hey, let me get rid of the debt form. Nobody's doing it, fam. Nobody's got time. You got to handle the shit yourself. Maybe once we kick the doors in, and there's a system in place with the software and everything, which I got people working on right now. Well, I don't got people. But Trump's got people working on them right now. Trumper. All right. Now you see the UCC one and how you discharge that. I'm going to explain the verbiage. Okay. 
all cat name was the debtor. The creditor is my trust. The additional debtor is Bloomberg. Um, it's a trading terminal, so type of organization, I put trade. Jurisdiction is always public, even if it's the United States Corporation, even if it's whatever company you're dealing with. Um, and then their organization ID usually should be their EIN. So here's your verbiage. Ag leaned up. Ag leans on IBOEs and securities make them negotiable. So this is an actual constructive notice of an ag lien in the form of warehouse lien, care, same thing. For an IBOE, you call it a presentment, international IBOE, um, asset backed security, label it however you want. Uh, for the, then write out the amount, negative $7,395.01, register, and then the bullion. So you have a registered making security, then you have an asset backed security once you've had silver and or gold behind your IBOEs. And like I said, one one penny of it of gold or silver, but if you grab a gram, initial it, uh, now you have an asset backed security. Can't be denied. And then so and then we, I assigned the United because under Title 31, USC section 3123. The United States is obligated to discharge debt dollar for dollar. The obligation was defined under Title 18 U.S.C. Section 8, and full payment and satisfaction under Title 50 U.S.C. Section 4305B2. And then I mean, you can add UCC 3.605 or whatever you want. Or you can add Title 46 U.S.C. Uh, 31 321, but that goes to the Secretary of Homeland Security, that discharge. Hmm. Okay. So can't go back. Now this is the assignment. So after you file the UCC one, the reason why you're filing the UCC one is because that's the highest ledger. That's where all your banking is done. If your lien or liens is done, it's a, it's a notice of what was purchased, what you own. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you go in there. The original UCC file number will be my 98 number because everything is trust property. All my account numbers, bank account numbers, Bloomberg account, uh, boats, the cars, uh, United States Department of Tr uh, Transportation plates. Uh, passport numbers, expatriation, and Whatever you know. So you click on, I'll show you how to get to here. So you go to uh, wherever your state is. Okay, type in UCC1 e file, and you're going to go to the financing statement amendment. Okay, real simple. Remember your organization, just your debit card information. You're in your 90. This is when I, I just operate with the UCC one where my 98 is the creditor. Everything is under that trust. Everything. That's how you stay foreign. And then everything else has a security agreement and non UCC one lien. So you're doing an assignment, right? Fill in the da 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 bum. Organization name. My all cat name, all trust property. And then the creditor changed it. My suite address, ends address, private. And here it goes. So this is an actual constructive notice that check number for the amount negative registered. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, United States Treasury for discharge in accordance 31. And then I put the homeland security. Sorry, yeah, home, yeah, homeless secretary of homeland security, and then there's your codes for that 31321 for full settlement closure. Ledgered, stamped, signed, sealed, and then here's your the secure party's name, the trust, and then you click file, boom, boom, boom add that to the pack. All right. 1096 for all your 1099s, no matter what you file, A, B, C, the OID, they all get one. 
even if they generate it automatically on the OID online 1099 on 1099online.com or the fire, I still do a hard copy one. But I think they're trying to get everything so it's all digital. But they need to add so you, the, on the website you need to add that full account. And then up here, you know, I put like Title 28 USC Section 1741. You know, that's your penalties and purge. Stamp. And then, then you wait. Let me keep going. So then you file the OID, hard copy, non-mortgage, widely held fixed investment trust. There's your suite. See my social. There's Bloomberg. There's the QSIP going into the account number. That's where the, the private side comes from. The, this is the tin is the pass through. Comes from here to go in there. Issued by law under Title 26, Codes of Federal Regulations 1.1275 to 1.275G with private debt instrument slash acceptance. Okay, there's your OIDs. IRS Publications 1212, page two states an 8281 has to go with your OID. And it's just explaining what you filed, what security instrument you filed, real simple stuff. Issuer's name, who's the issuer? All cap name, your trust, da da da. My 98 number, that's all I use now is my 98. My cousin's birthday did the sign for that amount, keep it positive, and then the OID that I, for the check that I wrote was for a negative amount. So the the issue price for them, the invoice was 7,000. My amount that I created was negative, okay? And then so I came back here with all the securities that I created and what I added to this afterwards, I've caught it. You list your check number, the registered mail number, your serial number off your silver bullion that you created, your UCC file number, and then you add in your standard form 28, 14, 14, standard form 30, 14, 16, 14, 18. That's if you're outside of court. If you're in court, as I'm going to show you with the tort, it's the construction bonds because your vessel's deconstructed. It's hurt. It's it needs to be salvaged, and that's what your tort claim is basically doing. You're salvaging your vessel, making it all whole. So you bring in the construction bonds when you're in court. That's your 24, 25, 25A, 273, 274, 275, optional form 9091. Okay. There's your A281. You're just listing description of the debt instruments, everything you put in the pack. Uh, BC number I put on there now. Uh, the standard forms, that's all the things I added. There's one thing I didn't put on there. But this is good enough right here. And there's your affidavit of individual surety. This is, oh, so I'm in New York. My county's Oneida, the SS. There's the social. One dash. Okay. Then name. Type of duration and occupation is your surety and you're the light it's for a lifetime no one else is going to step up even when you die it's going to be heirs and successors your home address is the suite name of the address of individual surety broker everything's at the dtc when you fill this stuff out it's all insured there and that's at the end game when you have your 98 number you do another trust pack you know, with the SEC and stuff like that, like I showed before. And that's how you enter into the SEC. And that's when you want to become a bank and stuff like that. But for now, this is, you can uh, hold yourself in court, sue them in federal court of claims, and then get rid of your debt. You just can't create money, accept it, transfer, you know what I mean? You can't do none of that stuff. Everything has to go through the treasury. See, my, what I'm learning now is I had a million dollars sent to me, so I'm learning how to monetize through the DTC and then a crowdfunding portal. That's the last step for me. Everything else is done. I'm out. And I was lucky enough that my mentor said I could have one more class with y'all because I'm going to be setting up an office here. Uh, and then everybody that got emails today will be emailed once the office is set up, and I'll be working. So I'm going to have be working with Brent, Nance, and Doc because I'll be studying under Doc. I'll be getting the weed farms going with Brent across the world. And then I got a place in Virginia with Nance where I'll be holding private uh, 
lessons, helping everybody become whatever they need to become, whatever their dreams are, whatever their heart desires are. I'll be, I'll be meeting people across the world, helping everybody just get situated. But I have a team that's going to be reaching out to you. It's not going to be me doing it. Um, I'm not, I can't handle the workload. And then, <clears throat> so just identify all mortgages, liens, judgments. So if you have a mortgage, a lien, anything, put it here. And then I just like, like I said, see standard forms, 14, uh, just labeling everything. I'll show you how to fill these out as well. So there's that. Seal it, sign it, date it, stamp it. Now this is standard form 30. Now what you're doing is you're amending the contract. Okay. You're amend so you're renegotiating your contract basically. So if you have SS coming in, none of this affects anything that you're doing. So if you want more money, these are your forms. You renegotiate whatever you are, you put the amount on here and you get going with and then standard 14, 14, 14, 16, 14, 18. Okay, so issued by, there's, you know, just uh, the man name, master account holder, suite 614, and then the Bloomberg address. There's the contract number, account number, invoice, date. Check this box. This change order is issued pursuant to, boom, boom, boom. boom. And then, it's, yep, right there, see the 14, payment bond. And then say, uh, the value associated with the order, the invoice number is ordered canceled by the owner. And then per attached standard form 1418, performance bond, da, 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 associated with this order. And then your 1414 just your right here. Your surety. I do this and I do a standard form 28, as you've seen. I just, I overload it. I don't care. Con uh, your contract numbers, your invoice number, um, be your social security contract, mortgage contract. That will go there. Keep it 01. Okay, type name, see, sign it, same, simple, simple, date it, sign it, same thing. Okay, now you're going to put your payment bond together. Let me see. It gets it gets repetitive, same stuff. It just, it gets repetitive. State of New York. So up there, date bonds executes the date you were born. When you get into bonds, it's because whatever bond they're talking about, because what's always being attacked is your birth certificate, social security number. When were you born? That date goes there. Court cases. All all when you were born. Okay. And then optional form 90, yeah. All cap name, county, social. Then in the middle, this is what you register with the IBOE, your silver bullion, the invoice. Birth certificate. I put 55 Water Street. If you have a mortgage, Put your house, which is where you live. All right, guys. Let me just see. Let me look at the bottom of this chat here and see because I'm going to stop sharing soon. And let me see here. Yeah, that's about it. I mean, I put a link here to.
this is going to be public. So let me get myself a oh, just to say good night to everybody. Does anybody have any thoughts or comments? KT, hi, I see you unmuted. How are you doing? So um, anybody have any thoughts or comments? Otherwise, we're going to start wrapping it up. I'll give it a couple minutes. Collect your thoughts. And I already communicated with K with you, um, KT, right? Through the YouTube chat. So you contact me and we can talk about that. I'll have to see what level you are, you're at. I'm, I'm going to be preparing to have dinner now. So I haven't even started cooking. But I mixed myself a drink. That was that was juicy, huh? That was. I I watched that, not the entire thing. Let me see. I'm not sharing right here. I watched the entire thing, not the entire thing, but big chunks of it, like twice or three times back in like January or February. I can't even remember when. I'm gonna check my email over here. And all right, so the. You guys are troopers, boy. Let me see this participant list. You guys were on for the. Oh, there it is. You guys were on. We've been on for four hours and 18 minutes. And that's that's some endurance that you guys have. Musa, thanks a lot. We'll be communicating through email. I hope you enjoyed what I shared. If you missed any part, there's going to be archived. What I do on YouTube, let me share screen just so you know, is if, if uh, when you live stream here, when you live stream here, it, it, it records it in 720. But what I do is I re-upload an HD version. And uh, just so you could see the everything clearer, it's not that much work for me. So there's going to kind of be two versions. So one is going to be HD and one is going to be just a live stream. I don't want to take that away because it has the chat. If there was nobody that chatted and it was, you know, it was not very, you know, there was nobody that chatted and it was not that important, I would take it off. But once there's a chat on there, I keep that as the standard version. And then I keep the, and I re-upload the recording from Zoom in HD, just in case, because the graphics are better. So that's about it. All right, I'm gonna say good night then. Uh, I'll give it another you know minute if anybody wants to say anything. Otherwise, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed what we presented here. And like I said, this is a group discussion. I don't claim to be a guru or anything. This is my procedure. Lisa was sharing her thoughts of where she is and they're important I, I take them as constructive criticism uh i'm stubborn she was stubborn <laughs> we're on the phone she's like you gotta... she's down in florida over there and she texted me like uh I, I know her type i wonder what she is i'd love to see what her chart is but and if she's on that patrick divine stuff i kind of resonate with pj a, a bit more just because when you see somebody like I seen one picture of Patrick. I like all of his audio. It's deep. The guy was a master. He created a lot of those documents. Once we get out of this, once we get to the point where PJ is, then we can go ghost. You know, we can go and do everything all proper and having, you know, not, we can redact any documents we create. We could, you know, we could make them whatever. Anyway, at that point, we'll have a different level of overstanding. So I've always said this, even in many of my videos, what my, through ignorance, right? Where I am now, who I am now, who I am today is not the person I'm gonna be a week from now. Who I am now is not gonna be a person that I am a year from now. And I'm definitely not the person that I was last year or five years ago or 10 years ago. So, so you get more mature and you get seasoned and then you get less ignorance, more overstanding. And as you go on this journey, you recreate yourself as you go. You you basically, you are a new person every day. And I believe thoroughly that this is a holographic, re, uh, you know, a holographic universe and uh, it's a holographic reality. So every thought that you have, every word that you say, your words are commandments, by the way, and your eyes are not when you go through life, you're not going through life like touch this, like a video camera. 
not a video camera, your pineal gland and your eyes are actually a projector. So you actually are projecting this reality. I believe this fully 100, 1000%. So the thoughts you think, the dreams you dream, daydream, not, not night dream, when you, when you start daydreaming, and then if you command them to come into your reality, and then you, your heart, you emotionally uh, believe that you are already there to the point of the, of the higher self that you want to be. And if you take action, your life changes. This is like the, the law of attraction, the law of manifestation and stuff. So if you think it, dream it, say it, feel it, and do it. The next day you wake up with a brand new set of realities with all supporting characters to support your reality. Believe it. I do fully. It's hard to believe. It's very philosophical, but I'm going to repeat that again. I said it in a video once. If you can, if you, if you can think it, if you can dream it, if you put it into action by your words and commandments, if you can, if you feel it and feel like I imagine myself already being at that place where I want to be my higher self, being a chief of my own tribe and nation, having peace treaties with all surrounding nations, having parties and ceremonies and rituals. And, you know, um, you know, that's where I want to be. And I have the vigor in my life at this point in my life. I'm never going to have this opportunity again. That's why I'm laying all this out. That's why I'm, I could be doing my paperwork. I could be doing my paperwork, but I'm here because I know that one ape weak, many apes strong. It's, I'll put a video out just for that in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. He says, he, we are stronger together than we are alone and apart. So that's why I'm developing this group. There's 27, uh, you know, uh, people, you know, that are interested. Uh, you know, the group has technically 13 people right now. What a lucky number. You know, they say 13 is unlucky. is unlucky for them and not unlucky for us because that's golden mean fractal. Fibonacci sequence, one plus one equals two, two plus one equals three, three plus two equals five, five plus three equals eight, eight plus five equals 13. That number is powerful. So there's 13 people in here. Next time I want to look at it and make a comment on it is when I'm when it's 55. When it's 55, that's or we'll do 21, which was the next one. 13 plus eight is 21. And then 21 plus 13 is 34. 34 plus 21 is 55. So that's where we're gonna go. Well, those are gonna be markers for us, Fibonacci sequence. All right, done. So I wish everyone a good night and uh, KT welcome because a lot of the other participants were on since the, you know, since the beginning. So we'll communicate through email. We we'll see if we can't help you out with that uh, issue you mentioned on a YouTube chat. And uh, you're very beautiful. Uh, you have a very beautiful profile picture, I have to say. Um, so I'm gonna say good night to everybody and then end this meeting. Let me see how I can do this right. I'm going to just stop the recording and good night to all. And I'll see you next week.